to talk about people now. Yep. All right. Oh, there we go. Cat. We're going to admit Cat. Oh. That perfect timing. Cat. Oh. Hopefully, we get a few more and we'll have three people per in? team. I oh, guess I'm going to let the cat in. Yeah. And you know what? I was going to sing tonight, but I thought I accidentally no. muted you there, Ben. I, how, how dare you? You're just a co host. Well, see, see, what happens is <laughs> the, the, the person about to be coming in, there's the admit button. But if somebody else admits them, they go away, the host pops up, and the b mute button is right under where you were about to click. Am uh, I'm going to be co-host or not? Yeah, I'm going to make everyone who's uh, doing around a co-host. Uh, hmm. The running All right, players there is uh, oh, Carl's there we go. to play too. Okay. Yes. Why not? The more the merrier. I have the power. You do. I do. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> I can't figure out why my camera's not working. Uh, well, welcome, oh. Kat. You have to camera or on. no camera, you are welcome. Yeah. Um, Thanks. In a safe, in a safe place. <laughs> a safe place, yeah. All right, and there's Gail, which is good, because Gail is doing the bonus. Like Zoom doesn't see the camera. Oh, I won't be on when Gail does the bonus. Uh, I feel so bad. Oh, well. Well, oh, she's still connecting to audio. But, yeah. I feel so bad that I have to leave. Oh, and you got Bill in. Thanks, Carl. And I'm hoping to make it till nine because today was a long day with doctors, so. I'm going to make Gail a co-host. Welcome, Gail, and welcome, Bill. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. The Mesas back uh, the The Mesas back there. Oh, there's Is that Karen. Right, Bill? Real Karen, Karen this time. Not, not fake Karen. <sighs> or in this case, not driving Karen, home Karen. Welcome home, Karen. Yay! Hi, <laughs> Karen. We have we have Please lost driving know. Karen in in favor of home Karen. Thank you for not using a computer while you're driving. <laughs> Except the car, of course. It's got a computer. <laughs> There's something in Calgary called Access Calgary uh, for my mom. And she got accepted for full access, which is really nice. So I'll be taking a lot less Ubers. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah. It does have its limitations, though. You have to pre-plan for taking the Access Calgary. So with an Uber, you just oh. call it up. But not with um... this one. Caretaking is very hard. Yeah. Well, so she, yeah. I guess I haven't seen her recently. Like, like, like has she got problems with with walking? Or? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She uses yeah. a walker now. So okay. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> There's Alan. Alan. Cool. All right. Yay! There goes the neighborhood. No. <laughs> I guess I guess you can say that you're allowed because you're. <laughs> Kat says right, she's welcome, Alan. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna good. just relaunch it. I'll be right back. She's okay, we can we can wait for you. So, quick question: So, who's running the show today? Ben, are you doing that? Susan Gerben. Susan Gerben is running the show. <laughs> okay, because I figured you know, yes. I figured by now you guys would be already done. No, nope. not that early. I'm I'm watching the clock. I'm gonna eight eight thirty eight thirty Central Time. Anyway, it's gonna be the the start time. It's okay, it gets so. me. I, I I this is where I get fat when I sit with you guys. I eat this and my my oh, my, nice. my uh, what is this uh, trail mix? The trail guys, mix. We it's know trivia trivia calories don't count. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? That would be very nice. 
Uh, uh, my child, my back. child is coming home tomorrow for a couple of week, a week or two. So next, it will be joining late, but he will be joining in uh, probably next week. Cool. Oh, nice! That'll be very, very nice to see, mm -hmm. Avi. Yes. So uh, when... still no, still no camera, cat. Nope, it's lighting up and everything in settings looks mm. good. It zooms just not recognizing it. I don't oh. know what that. You take the cat oh, off. Take Zoom. So the problem that I had with that with Zoom is you probably used your camera for something else and it didn't close that something else. And the only way to solve that problem is to restart your computer. <laughs> Great. That's one possibility. And Kat, yep. do you have a separate camera or a built-in camera? Built-in. Okay. Because that happens to me all the time, and I just have to change the USB port it's plugged into. Yeah. And you don't have you don't have one of those little sliders over the uh, the thing at the top, of the camera. <laughs> no, I'm being blinded by the bright white light of the camera that's saying that it's on, but Zoom okay. is not. Well, yeah, since it has probably, the probably. icon with the slash through it, it's not recognizing it. It it yeah, wouldn't do that. Yeah. If it's... Cat, I thought it's the bright light of fame now that's <laughs> <laughs> blinded by. I think the solution is going to be to turn it off and turn it on again. Or I can do that, I suppose. Or restart the computer. But yeah, restarting it. I think yeah. it's time to make some breakout rooms. Just uh, can't give it a kick. <laughs> yeah. Well, I am watching hockey, so. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh, listen! Uh, I don't I say a word the about the score. Because I'm watching, I'm watching it, but I've got it on delay. So please don't say anything about I've, the score. I never give spoilers. Thank you. I always do when it's my brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's five nothing for Dallas right now, but yes, I'm not I'm telling sure, you that. I'm sure it is. <laughs> she reminds well, me I got considering I'm cheering for the Oilers, um, that could, you know, cause some expletives to fly All right, out of so my mouth. I want no, no cheering, no, 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 nothing. Okay, because I'm. I'm just turning it on now, so I'm like an an hour and a half behind. Or an well, hour. nothing happened in the first period, so you might as well go you, live. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. It's uh, <laughs> what is that intermission right now? Oh. Sorry, I'm watching live, so yeah, same here. It, it's on a rain delay. Yeah. Oh, oh. Uh, <laughs> let's see, Wendy's. Uh, it, it looks like Wendy has a has a tinfoil hat ready to put on. Oh no, <laughs> it's pretty funny. I'm saving that for um mm -hmm. icon. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, let's see. But let's see now. You uh I try to remember Wendy whether you were here. Oh. No. For what? Uh, 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 uh last week when I showed the pictures from the Tyrell Museum. No, she wasn't. Oh, I didn't get to see them. No. I and that was going to be a big deal for me to go up there and see that and yeah. um what happened yeah. was that I got a new prescription like just a few days before I was supposed to fly. Yeah. And <clears throat> and the prescription and I did not um agree. Yeah. So your and, and so was, your wing so your wings just weren't working. No, they weren't. It's just like, oh my God. This I cannot travel. I can't go on an airplane or have any fun at all when I, my body is doing this. And so I stopped taking the prescription. And then sure enough, a couple of weeks later, after the uh, primary care physician finally got around to reading my lengthy email about the experience, um, he said, oh, you don't have to take that anymore. <laughs> uh, thanks. Oh, Thank well, if it's, well yeah. it's doing it, doing more harm than good. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it was doing, it was, well, I, anyway. it, it, it it doesn't agree with everybody. For the people that it agrees with, I'm sure it does a lot of good. Yeah. It, this, anyway, this, I was yeah. anyway I was thinking I could show you the pictures from the Tyrell Museum, but uh, I guess uh, we're about to start the t t quiz, so <laughs> that yeah, uh, uh, give me another opportunity. That will be great yes. because like my big deal is when I was a child, I was very confused about whether dinosaurs were real. Or made up like you know fairy tale creatures, and um, and then and when I found out they were real, I that that was huge to me. I I read a lot of nonfiction about um, about 
um, uh, paleontology. And then I decided my favorite fossils are even earlier than um, dinosaurs, because I've got um, some, I read a book called Wonderful Life, and it oh, was, yes. and it was about uh, actually uh, someplace in Canada, a place in Canada. Uh, I've been there. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> Shale. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And the, and and I and boy, those those that was yeah. interesting. That was and, amazing. Uh, fairly far from here. It was four it's hours. Two, it, eh, a little a little over two hours one way. Oh yeah, that's that's yeah. far. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and, and and then there's the and, and then there's the walk from the nearest bit of road. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Oh, see, that's what okay, I'm. Okay, guys, about. I'm gonna I'm gonna open the rooms so that we can okay. come up with our team names. Yeah. Yes. All right. Go forth and be creative, and Mary. <laughs>
Okie dokie. <laughs> Okay, 30 seconds left, and then we will close the rooms. Hi, Karen. I can see your real face now. Welcome back. Hopefully I gave you guys enough time to come up with your team names. Okay, we'll take Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Karen. My team. What are you talking about? Okay. All right, let me get some team yeah, names in here. Our team, I should say. So my team was three, correct? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. And, yep. Go ahead. And, and Kat, I missed the whole conversation with uh, Kat and her camera. She's already tried the carrot and changing the camera setting, right? So she's tried the carrot, and has she tried the stick? Yeah. <laughs> if, if it's if it's not working right now, I think stick may be the next option. <laughs> nah. Yeah. I think. Uh... Tossing it across the room might happen. I don't know. But she I did change from voice. Keanu to my actual face. So <laughs> as much as I want to look at Keanu Reeves all night, I'm sure the rest of you do too. Let's face it. You do. You do. You want to. <laughs> sure. I'm not wrong that at all. Oh. Another option. I, again, you might be pleased with, with your still uh, lovely still photo. Another thing is to use two devices, log on on your phone, and then just mute the sound and the volume. So you're just on one with your visual, and then your audio is on your computer. I may try that when we go into a break. Okay. First, we have to do team names. Yes. Carl, Janine, and Wendy will be team one. What is your team name? Martha Ann Alito lacks standing for an appeal to heaven. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, let's get that piece in there, beast. Mm -hmm. Okay, team two is Vincent, Karen, and Cindy. What is your team name? Jeez, we object to anything but a guilty verdict. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, right. <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> oh, okay. That's funny. I like that. With eye rolling. With, With eye rolling. <laughs> you need the eye rolling emoji in there. All right. <laughs> Team three will be Celia, Jim, and Ron. What and are your team, team names? 
Our team name is Nothing Happened This Week. <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> we were Absolutely having nothing time. happened. Okay. Team four will be Jamie, Alan, and Carolyn. Trump sells his new GOP Unified Reich wristwatch. It's a swatch mm. ticker. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. I love it. How long do you spend each week trying to think <laughs> about Yeah, that? that's what I want to know. <laughs> Jamie, he is retired, remember. You got plenty of free time. I'm retired. It's my Thursday night homework before I go to bed. <laughs> I like it. And finally, in the bonus, we have Gail, Bill, and Kat. What the Team buck? Five is what the puck? Because <laughs> <laughs> my life has been hockey for the last week. I know nothing of news. Uh, can we drop hints to Alan what's going on right now? Hell no. No. <laughs> Torture him. Oh, <laughs> terrible. That's so mean. I don't do spoilers, but it's a good thing my camera's not working. Let me just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alan doesn't want any hints at all. No hints. He was really clear. Not Brother even Ron. a hint of a hint, right? <laughs> and just yeah, remember, Alan. Being able to see my most face, you, doesn't know if I'm happy or mad. Now, most of you guys, the uh, if I told you about 1972 Summit Series would mean nothing, but uh, it it meant everything to a Canadian. And uh, when I was I was seeing it all on de delay when I was at school in Philadelphia, and the final, the final against the, the Canadians against the uh, the Soviets. And they were down to the last, the last game, like sort of winner take all. And literally, the country, the the whole country of Canada was on Spilkus the whole the whole day. But I was seeing it on delay. And one of one of my one of my buddies from school comes up to me, I know who won, and I would have killed him. If he <laughs> you were you were ready I to would strike. Have killed him. And especially the worst because thing in the world. it was such a great, it was a such a great ending. And if yes. I had already known the ending, everything would have been different. Well, no, been, no, hint, been jail no hints for dead. you tonight, Alan, because he's not playing for Dallas tonight. What's that? No hints for you today because he's not playing for Dallas. Hints. All right. Um, Are oh, you guys yeah, ready? Yeah, really. <laughs> Paul? <laughs> it's time. Yeah. For, it it's, it's time for game 216 in season four. Tonight, we have playing. Team one, Martha Ann Alito lacks standing for an appeal to heaven. Versus team two, geez, we object to anything but a guilty verdict. Versus team three, nothing happened this week. Versus team four, Trump sells his new GOP unified right <laughs> wristwatch. It's a swatch ticker. <laughs> Versus team five, <laughs> what the puck? All right. Carl, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. This is a new, never before done mystery theme round. You just might have a shot at figuring out the theme. Okay. All right. I'm going to mute everyone and proceed. Question number one. This actress, one of the few performers to win the Triple Crown of Acting, which is a competitive Academy Award, Emmy Award, and a Tony Award for the acting categories, is best known for her roles in the Harry Potter film series and the TV show Downton Abbey. She won her Oscar for her performance in the film The Prime of Miss Jean Brody. Number two. Florence Henderson was a longtime spokesperson for this brand of cooking oil. Number three, this character effectively replaced the character of Frank Burns as the main foil for Hawkeye and BJ after actor Larry Linville left the show. Number four, in the TV show Barney Miller, this character played by actor James Gregory was Barney Miller's immediate supervisor who does nothing but chew Barney's ear all day get Barney to do his paperwork for him, and long for the halcyon days of acceptable pre police brutality, seen in about a quarter to a third of the episodes. 
Number five. This American zoologist is best known as the host of the television program Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. He briefly attended the University of Missouri, but quit, quit school to become a laborer at the St. Louis Zoological Park and later returned to become its director. Number six. This is the name of the main character in both the TV show and film The Fall Guy. Number seven. This company was an early American. Was it? A bit, Kevin. This company was an early American business machine manufacturer, originally a typewriter manufacturer, and in later incarnations, the manufacturer of Univac line of mainframe computers, as well as electric shavers. It was a sponsor of the TV show, What's My Line? After 1955, it had a long series of mergers and acquisitions that eventually resulted in the formation of Unisys. Number eight. This actor played Kevin Arnold in the TV series, The Wonder Years, and was also the little kid in The Princess Bride. Number nine. This was a two-door coupe that was produced by Chevrolet from 1987 until 1996. Alongside the four-door Chevrolet Corsica, it served as a successor to the Chevy Citation. It was slotted between the compact Cavalier and the mid-sized Lumina and Monte Carlo sedans. GM was sued by an Italian company for the trademark infringement involving their use of the name. The suit was settled out of court in 1989. And finally, lastly, for number 10, this model four-door front-wheel drive car introduced in 1986 was a staple offering for Ford until they started phasing out sedans in 2019. And now, there. Breakout room. There it is. Go forth and contemplate. Where do, we, where do you want to stick Kevin, Ben? Ben, are you going to come help us? <laughs> uh, yes, I will come help. Yay! But first, we need to assign Kevin. Who's going to have people that are leaving early? Vincent won't stay all night. Yeah. Carolyn usually won't stay all night. Because they're all broken up. I broke them up. So... Right. Uh, let's do... Kevin, pick a number between one and five. <laughs> five. And three. Uh, three. Okay, there you go. Three. Okay, and I am going to go join my team. I will be back. Hello. Hello. I'm here. Okay, Welcome. good. Tell us the answers. Uh, I don't Since I, I don't know, know anything these. about actors, actresses, anything um how do i uh, am okay. i sharing the proper screen looks like it it looks okay. like it to me it shrunk my video and i don't like it i want it to be bigger oh you can make your video you there just grab a, you can make the the Squares bigger, you just grab a hold of the little white bar. Yep, I get the... it. Yeah. Okay, so to... number one was um Harry Potter and Downton Abbey, and I don't remember the actress's name. Played Professor McGonagall. Um, anybody know which one that is? No, I don't know actors and actresses. Neither okay. do I. I haven't even seen the Harry Potter. I've read the books. I did see part of Downton Abbey. Okay, well, we'll come back to that one. Uh, the, the, her name might come back to me. Uh, Florence Henderson. What Do we know what cooking oil she was? Uh... Would this have been on TV? Like TV advertisements? Yes. Yes. But I don't... Uh, like. All I can think of is like try to remember the names of different cooking oils because i just get whatever they have at trader joe's and it doesn't even have a name yeah. and then and but wesson oil but Wesson's i don't the only cooking oil i know crisco 
Uh, Crisco. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Weston because here's the thing. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, the round, the mystery theme this time is the uh, weapon manufacturers. Because he said you might have a shot at figuring out the theme. Oh, that's um, hilarious. Oh, it's because, so you know, yes. you know Carl well enough to figure yes. it out from just well, knowing Smith, Carl. Smith and Wesson. So when you said Wesson cooking oil, I'm like that rang a bell too. And mm -hmm. then the answer to number six is Colt Stevers. So again, Colt is a weapon manufacturer. Um, okay. Colt Stevens. Stevers. Stevers. Oh, Stevers. Oh, I see. You have it written down. I, okay. I'm okay. i looking at both the chat and yours. So I'm trying to remember who watched MASH. Frank Burns was in like the first season or two, and then it was Dang, replaced if John by... Wesson, if John wasn't asleep, he'd know all the... Well, all I think you need weapon. to wake him up. It's time to wake him up. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't sleep so, so much. So does anyone watch something. MASH? I'm bad. I can, I'm drawing a blank on the on the... Uh, major. I'm trying to think. Let's just go through gun manufacturers. Remington. Oh, uh, good idea. Now, hold on. Mm. Honey cut. No, it was Charles. Somebody that like the third. It was he had a. He was from a. Ritzy family. I just can't remember his last name. Okay, uh, we'll come back. Uh, Barney Miller. I have no idea. I've watched Barney Miller, but it's been ages. And if you guys don't know your actors, then I wouldn't. If I don't know it, we're not going to know it. Okay. How about our zoologists? Anyone know our zoologists? It has to be a. It has to be a gun manufacturer. Well, but manufacturer. their name is going to be. It's like people's names, but their names are the same as oh a God, zoologist weapon manufacturer. That I know. Uh, Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Right. So that and they were the host. And I can his voice, but I can't remember his name. It'll drift to the surface tomorrow. Okay, okay. I think you're right. Tomorrow, about thank you, people. Wendy. Tomorrow's <laughs> good. So, okay. Um, this company was an early American business machine manufacturer, originally a typewriter man. A oh, Remington is a, a typewriter. There you go. There. Which number? And they're also uh seven. Seven. I don't know if they're two M's or not, but spelling doesn't matter. Um, I'm pretty sure Kevin Arnold was played by Fred Savage, right? Isn't that the actor's name? But I don't know. Savage maybe there's is a, a good name for. Yeah, maybe that's a, just a gun firearms. manufacturer that I'm not a not aware of. Well, Savage is a good. It's a good. Yeah. And I don't know, Remington, I think it's one. I'm going to assume that Savage is a manufacturer. Yep. yep. Uh, let's see. Two-door coupe that was produced by Chevrolet. Colt? Uh, well, but we already have Colt in answer six. I don't think that I don't it... know if he's going to reuse it, but alongside the four-door Corsica... Served as a successor to the Citation. I'm trying to. So it was smaller than the Lumina, but bigger than the Cavalier. Oh, um, crap. What the heck was that? Gold. I'm drawing a blank. I should know this. What the heck? It was. It was a car that I really liked too. There's a firearms. Rada was sued by an Italian company for trade right, trademark re infringement involving their use of the name. And I think pretty sure Taurus is a gun manufacturer, and that was oh yeah, a popular four door is... car. Yeah, that's um, a good Cavalier. 
I'm pretty sure it was the Chevy Cavalier. Okay. I don't have another answer. Okay. Is so, there a I have Bretta? no idea if I, I spelled remember that Bretta. Right. There's a Bretta. You know, John was a competitive shooter. So he's really knowledgeable about firearms, but you're going to put that for five? Yeah, sure. The person's name might be Beretta. You can okay, put it or places. it could be four. I don't know. Well, if we don't have an answer for four. I'll put it for both just because that's yeah, better than not having why an not? answer. Oh, God. What is his name? Charles. Is Glock a manufacturer? Yes. Do we put it in someplace? I don't see it in there. I wasn't sure if it was a manufacturer oh, or, or... It's going to bug me. And I really wish I could remember the actress's name for Harry Potter. Because I know the actress. I mean, I can picture her face and she was in Downton Abbey. Um, she's since passed away. sure oh what the heck is her name it's gonna bug the crap out of me oh we're doing pretty good um is there a ruger or something like that yep, ruger is a manufacturer do we have that someplace um we do not not yet uh, let's see that i just don't know we should do beretta for one and ruger for another but i don't know which one's which well we're better off maybe putting Bretta everywhere. I know. Or or Glock or Hold on, let me see. If I if I just think about I don't know how much time we got left, but he hasn't closed the big breakout rooms yet. Um if I think about there, um can I go back to number three for a moment? It doesn't say whether it's a man or a woman. It just says this character It's a it's a man. Because I know who the character is. I just can't think of the character's name. Okay, what was the nickname of that woman character, though, the, the nurse? Hot Lips. Okay. Hot it's lips not her. Because Frank Burns was replaced by another guy, and then they just started, you know, giving him trouble instead of Frank Burns. Okay. Um... Major. So Major Burns left. The actor left and he was replaced by Charles Winchester. Duh. Oh, good job. Oh, I was oh. like, if I keep saying the name Charles Winchester the third, I remember that from the show. Which duh, Winchester. I mean, come on. Winchester it is. Um, what is her name? It's gonna bug me. I mean, she's a famous actress. Number one. Yeah. So we have. So well, neither of you have seen Taurus Harry Potter in? or Downton oh, Abbey. Taurus in. So we have a Taurus. We we don't have Glock anywhere. And her, her last name is Glock. I'm trying to think of. I know oh, John's well. always reading about them. So I see the material sitting around all the time. I think all the ones that we have are probably correct. We just need to Carl, I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm so mad at myself. I can't for the life of me remember uh, the actress's name. Yeah, you're definitely gonna kick yourself on that. I know I am. At least I remembered that the character's name uh from MASH was Charles Winchester the third. And I'm like, well duh, Winchester. Did you figure the theme? Oh yeah, I figured that out. Yeah, quick. he got the theme. So it's it's all can we it's, put it's Ruger firearms can we put manufacturers. Ruger uh, we can change one of our Beretta guesses to Ruger. I just don't know Barney oh, Miller I don't see characters why. well At enough to know. At least this way we're gonna get one. But I'm wondering if any. Oh, so you know the the number one? It's just. Yeah, I know exactly who it is. It's she's uh, <laughs> she's Professor McGonagall in Harry Potter. She's, I don't know who she plays in Downton Abbey, but she's one of the famous characters from that, too. 
So. The prime of miss. Is that, did something get cut off or is that the actual end of it? The prime of miss. Oh, miss Jean Next Brody. line. Okay. I, I kept seeing this thinking that was the answer, but I'm like, no, you haven't answered it yet. That's part of the question. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, how's everybody else doing? Are we going to be ending this pretty soon? Probably, Uh, right? yeah, I'll probably be pulling the trigger in a second here. And don't forget, because I don't know how to change it. It's 60. It's a 60 second instead of the two Oh, minutes okay. that you Yeah. normally So go I'll, with I'll give because it another minute. I'm, Right. I'm hosting. So, Right. yep. So just think of that. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Ruger is a firearms manufacturer, but... Uh, Or one of these names, Ruger. I'm trying to. Th oh, I wish John was up. <laughs> I told I didn't you, you gotta ask go wake him him. up. I know, but he has so Some much things trouble are important. sleeping. Come on. He needs to Yeah. rest. Ah, darn it. Don't So, worry. what do we think? Does Just... Beretta or Ruger sound more like a firearms man or a uh, uh, zoologist? Ruger. Name. You like Ruger, Ruger better? All right, and then we'll leave Beretta for four. Again, have no idea if that's correct, but that's good Mm because Barney -hmm. is, Miller is there is like a a cop Taurus show. So, is there what? a Taurus is there a Taurus manufacturer Yeah, I'm pretty sure because that's I know I'm pretty sure that's the four door. oh oh we had that for Yeah, 10 yeah, okay yeah and then I hope I'm thinking we got nine right with the Cavalier, so we will see. Cavalier makes We'll see. sense. It sounds Yeah. like a good one for, Yep. for. Oh, I just need to come up with number one. Why? Come on, brain. I need to smack my brain around a little bit. Maybe I'll come up with the answer. Can I just put Professor McGonagall? Does that count? Hey, you might want to reread <laughs> the whole question on everything. yeah. <laughs> well, it said Emmy and Tony Ward, but. I don't know if she sings too or not. Breakout rooms. There's the warning. Well, we should put something in for one. Briefly That's attended the only the University one. of Missouri, but quit school to become a laborer. No, 35 seconds. Let's put something down for one. We have 10 seconds. Anything. All right. Here we go. Okie dokie. So, uh, Ben, Yes. this was I was tricky. fighting very hard to be objective and I was probably too objective because any other team I probably would have clarified this for you. But on number nine, make sure you that what you put for your answer isn't listed in the question itself because it's probably wrong if it is. Oh, yeah, I see that, Cavalier. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Here we go. Number one, Maggie Smith. Oh, <laughs> we got it. Got Number it. two. Weston. Wes and Oil. Number I don't think I've seen that for sale in Canada. three. I lost Charles it. Emerson It was Winchester not. the Third. Wait, I Wait, lost Carl. it. Hey. I lost Oh yeah. the screen share. Do you Yeah. where? Okay, it wasn't just me. Yeah, there's no You lost screen your screen share going share, out Carl. on the screen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You notice I'm no longer let me redo that. Weird. Share. Uh, We love your little PowerPoint. We want to see it. <laughs> For number three, can we just say Charles Winchester and Winchester be okay? alone is sufficient. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, get back to 
Yeah, yeah we, we don't have the can't see the answer. Mm. He's yeah. working on it. He was always a more interesting character. The uh, he has more the, more three dimensional than than Burns. Burns was very <laughs> superficial. Yeah. No 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 depth character. All right, yeah. here we go. Boom. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Yeah, basically Winchester was better. Uh, oh, there she is. There she is. That's an oil. Love that Maggie Smith. Hey. Okay. Charles Emerson Winchester the third. Mm. And I will accept just Luger, okay. but Deputy ah, Inspector Franklin D. Luger. Oh, oh yeah. That's you got right. that wrong. Mm -hmm. Five, Marlon Perkins. Oh, Marlon. Yeah. You gotta explain how that fits the theme at some point. Yeah, Mar Marlin, Mar Mar Marlin and Firearms. Rifles. Each one of these on the right, I have the logo of the firearms company. That oh, I was it? Okay. Marlin was a rifle, I bet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Marlin, makers of lever action rifles. And they were advertised in Boy's Life, as long as I can recall. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number six, Colt Seaver. Hey. I will accept I'll, I'll be generous and just accept Colt. Thank yes. You. Thank you. That Number seven. Stevens. Remington Rand. I will accept just Remington. Yay. Uh, we had Sperry Rand. We have a different iteration of it. Uh, the mm -hmm. Remington's the important part for the yeah. 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 Number eight, Fred Savage. And yes, Savage Arms. There still is to this day a firearms company that goes by the name Savage Firearms with a Native American as their logo. Wow. They call wow. Themselves savage. You, sorry, can you say number six again? I can't groan hard enough on that one. Six was Colt. 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 Okay. And number seven, sorry, I missed Remington. it. Remington. Remington. Okay. Fred Savage. Oh, can we? Nine, the Chevrolet Beretta. Beretta. Oh, I forgot about the Beretta. That's where Beretta needed to go. Yeah. <laughs> and we finally, number 10, song. the Ford Taurus. Yay. The Taurus was a gun? Uh, yes, it's a, it's a Brazilian gun company. I we thought a Taurus was out of focus. That was a cool PowerPoint. Can you do focus it is part of a gun. With the fading in and out, that was nice. Yeah. It was, yeah. yeah I, uh, you put a lot I, of I'm, I'm lazy. I selected beautiful. all the slides and just selected random transition mm. for each one. <laughs> so it just randomly cycles. Each time I do the PowerPoint, it's a different transition on each slide. Don't no, be modest, Carl. You're, you're was fancy. Wrong. Nice job. That was good. That was good. That was fun. All right. Or right, let's get some scores. Team one, which I can answer that. We got a six. Not too bad, team. We did all right. If I only would have remembered Maggie Smith, that bugged me. And if I would have read the question better, that Cavalier. I answered Cavalier, and that was part of the question, so that wasn't the answer. Sorry, team. But I we completely forgot it. Beretta. Uh, team two. Geez, we object to anything but a guilty verdict. We got five. Five. All right. And we got three uh, of the correct answers. Just with the wrong numbers. You know? yeah. yeah, that's kind of like, can I move oh, my Beretta answer to too. a different question? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Team oh, well. three, nothing happened this week. We got eight. Eight, nice. Oh. Very good. Well done. All right. Team four, Trump sells his new GOP unified right wrist wristwatch. It's a swatch ticker. That's a tongue twister, man. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Whoa, very nice. Wow. Nine. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Uh, we need to play uh, some Cookie uh, Monster. <laughs> Team five. What the puck? Tim. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Okay. And we figured out the theme at the very end, and so we were convinced the Taurus was wrong because none of us had heard of a Taurus gun. Yeah. That was like the first thing I figured out, and I, and we still only ended up with a six. Oh. Well. <laughs> Well done, Carl. Yes, nice round, yeah. Carl. Thanks, that was Steve. good. Did I do a bang up job? You did do a bang <laughs> up job. I, and I loved your, your hint for people that you paid blew attention. Us away. I have a shot at it. It's, it's, it yes. sounds like you didn't shoot yourself on the foot, at least. It was right on target. Right on it target. was right on target. <laughs> good. Right on target. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Oh, all crazy. our violent metaphors. It's horrible. Yes. <laughs> We're so good at them, though. That's terrible, mm -hmm. isn't it? <laughs>
If you Vince can't laugh at my... violence, what can you laugh at? <laughs> yeah, right. Vincent yeah. is so up team... for uh, team two, round two. Are you ready? No. You're not no, ready. I'm kidding. You I'm better kidding. be ready. <laughs> you should have your powers, right? I think I made everybody. Yeah, I do. I gave everybody the power. Yeah. yeah. Right. I've got the power. Do, 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 do. No. Uh, oh, there we go. Copy. I hope this works. What is our the theme? Theme is movie version of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, an amazing trilogy of five books. Wow. The movie it's was ambitious. Awful. But I know. But the movie was awful. Yeah. But did you I'm glad that? I didn't waste my time. So do you have your towel with you? That's my towel? <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. All right. All right. So the first question is You're not gonna sing the questions? Oh <laughs> no. Not today. I was almost gonna do something like that, but The last ever dolphin message, misinterpreted as a surprising, sophisticated attempt to do a double backward somersault through a hoop while whistling the Star Spangled Banner, actually means what? So, Vincent, you going to still be in our team? Uh, yeah. So you Why? can answer these questions for us? So I can, what? That was Answer the questions for us. Answer the questions for it. No, <laughs> can't do that. Nice I try, though. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Okay. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, well. Screw no, that, that was one. last round. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I screwed. I screwed something up. I didn't want to ask this question, but I can't get another one. So this will have to work. If you get the well, I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything because based. What were the second most intelligent creatures on Earth? Thank you. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, no, I got it. What star is near Ford's home planet? According to the guide, Vogons are one of the most blank races in the galaxy. Don't bother counting the uh, under underline because that won't help you. What color is the Babel fish? Uh, 
Six, a supercomputer has been designed to answer the ultimate question. What is it? What is the ultimate question? Okay. So it, it being the ultimate question, not the computer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's it. Yep, you got it. <laughs> After being picked up and ejected into space by a Vogon ship, Arthur and Ford get picked up by the Heart of Gold. What do they transform into because of the infinite infinite probability drive? And again, this is from the movie. It's not in the book. if I remember correctly. And number eight. What are the two reasons The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is one of the best-selling books? No, I did not make a mistake on the grammar. Number nine. What is the name of the robot on the Heart of Gold? Hmm. And this next question is just from the movie. It's not in the book. Question 10. On a Vogsphere, you'll be slapped in the face with a paddle that comes out of the ground if you do what? And that's it. Very nice. Mm hmm. Well, I hope so. Okay, good luck, everybody. Hey, let's just I wrote uh, so here's we'll Ben, see, but we get Ben, but we get Ben. Um, so yeah. Um, I've there never go. read. I, Vincent, you should. It, it's okay. You shouldn't be talking to us right now. Oh, who cares? Whatever. I break the I rules. Care. Well, I, I know nine is Marvin. Okay, hold on just a minute. So, who has the screen up? I just That's shared. Ben. You guys can see it. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Susan okay. Durbin. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I heard the guy interviewed on Letterman once and thought, oh, I, I'd like to read those books or watch those films. And I never have. Yeah, and I haven't seen the movie in forever. Well, the, so. Yeah, the BBC, BBC did a, a series, a TV series based on this book. Okay. What? Okay, so number one, you think is what? You had a, something? I have no idea what that means. Okay. 
I don't remember. Um, number one, I think that's where they were trying to warn. I don't know how accurate he wants us to be. I think that was the warning. Um, no, I know it. It's uh, so long and thanks for all the fish, I think. Because that was so the last thing that the dolphins the said. Okay, great. Yeah, that's so, so long right. and thanks for all the fish. So is number two dolphin? No. Uh, is it, a, it could be humans. It could be mice. Well, not mice, because I think they were the most intelligent. Yeah, the mice were or the they, most intelligent. I'm trying to remember if the dolphins or, or humans came like, in second. I can't remember. Or whales. I think it might be the dolphins, because I think, like, in there, they were talking about, oh, the dolphins are way more intelligent than we realize, but they're not the most intelligent. The mice are the most intelligent. So dolphins might be second. Okay. But I'm not positive on that. That's okay. Put dolphin, and we can always come back through if we have time and reconsider. What star is so, near Ford's home planet? I have so no So Ford clue. must be the protagonist? Yeah. Actually... Ford is the human being, right? Or no, no, Ford was the guy with the towel. He was the alien. I forgot he's the alien. Um I'm the only star that his name I re remember is, is and I can't pronounce it, it's like Arturus, like A-R-T-U-R-U-S. That's a close spelling. But that's the only star I remember the name of. Or Arturus? Yeah. A R T U S. Yeah. A R T U R U S. But uh, that's a close spelling, but it's not. It's not yeah, again, yeah. spelling doesn't matter. So, yeah. Okay. Vogons are one of the most blank races in the galaxy. Um, I wrote sexy. Nice. No, they definitely like weren't it. sexy. <laughs> they Were they weren't the. Sexy. Were they, are they, they were, like the most brutal or I don't, Oh, I don't know. Vicious. Don't, vicious cruel. might be good. Cruel. Yeah. And then they had the worst food. No, no, the worst food. The best awesome. food. They were supposed to have the best food. Or they had a race on there that made the best food, but they actually, yeah. Okay. They had a race on there that made the best food, but because they were, they're working for the Bogans. It was really bad. Um, so do you remember so, what they were saying about the Vogans? Something, I don't know if they said brutal, but... Let's, let's go with brutal. Well, or barbaric, right. barbaric or vicious. Barbaric or vicious or brutal, something like that. Or like the grossest. Barbaric? Are we good with that one? That sounds sure. good to people? Yeah. Okay, what color is the fish i wrote yellow orange <laughs> yeah i yellow popped into my head as well Purple. karen so what? but i don't know Jenny? i'm all i i've just all i know is the answer to number six is 42 i don't know what the question is and i heard the guy ever uh, interviewed on letterman once that's all i know um put yellow if it came in your head forget the orange Okay. The well, answer is 42. Right, but we need the question. It's something what like, is what is the meaning of life? Or what yes, is the purpose right? of the universe? Uh, the, meaning, I think the meaning of life? Yeah. Let's do that. What is? The answer is 42. Right. Yeah. The answer is 42. All right. What is the um, meaning of, the, of, of creation, of life, or creation, well, of wait. everything? Of everything, but we I don't yeah, think we need the mean? question because that's the thing they built the so it spit out forty two but um a supercomputer has been designed to answer the ultimate question what is it meaning 42. what is the computer oh no, forty two is the answer so we need the name of the computer no, are you uh, sure it, what is it? it what is it could be. What is the ultimate question? Yeah, what is the answer? Yeah. Or what is the computer? Okay. Someone asked Vincent to clarify is the question. What is the question? Right. Yep. Okay. We should have him when 
Okay, what right. is the meaning of everything? What is the meaning yeah. of it, it all? I think I think I might have said what is the meaning of life or what is the meaning of everything? Um, like the universe, like that. what's the meaning? Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, this is the only one I think I thought I might know. And then the answer was 42, which... Right, yep. Okay, well... Yeah. But yeah, we need to have him clarify which... which what is what he means by it so so cindy uh, said he did he did what yeah, did he, he said it was a question what is the it was question the question okay yeah what is the meaning right. of all life not just life like our life but all like everything that kind of life capital l life isn't it no i don't yeah. know okay it's been too i need to reread hitchhiker's guide yeah. um or at least watch the movie again. Susan would be good at this, right? Yeah, we need Susan. Sorry that I'm here in place. Susan, Susan. <laughs> we need you. Okay. Um, Heart of Gold, what do they transform into? Oh, oh crap. Don't do they, they transform, transform into device? multiple things? Well, I'm wondering, do they transfer? They become mice. Lice or rice? Mice, M oh, mice, M I C E. Okay, but I don't think it was. Could be. I do know when they get to the planet where they made the forge, they become. I mean, they they talk to the mice. I mean, the the mice talk to them, but I don't know if they became mice. Yeah, when they were transformed. Mice. It became something weird. It may not have been. It may have been something inanimate, but I can't remember. Um. Well, we'll put an answer for now. Uh, what are the two reasons the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is one of the best-selling books? So we need we, we, we both answers. One is that we what it said? Need, okay. We only need to get one if there are two. Is it because it's um, um, because they did so many series about it? Like you said, there was a British TV series or because it's been translated into a lot of languages. That could be uh, translated into a lot of languages. Reason? Maybe. Did somebody famous like buy a whole bunch of copies to, to promote it or something? Right. I, I have um, no idea why it became popular. It's, it was a surprise to me that it was popular. So popular. Vincent, since you are here, just to clarify, when you're in question six, you say, "What is it?" Are you asking for the name of the the name of the supercomputer, the actual question that was being asked, or the, the actual the question that was being asked, asked of the supercomputer? Okay, got it. Of the supercomputer. Thanks. So okay, thank you. Yeah, got it. So, okay, so reasons? now we're on to number How eight. To rework number six. We're not on to number eight. We got it, Vincent. Okay. I feel so bad for one team because Vincent, we're good. We're we're good. Here. Yeah. Okay. Um, what are the two reasons to check your guide? So, what did we think in the the translated into multiple languages? Is that what we want to? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a guess. Oh, ooh, you know number nine, Susan. Yep. I knew number yeah, nine. Cindy, Cindy answered that. Oh, Cindy knew earlier. number nine. Yeah, Yay. she answered it like when we first, or when I first joined. Okay, you'll be slapped in the face with a paddle that comes out of the ground if you do what? I don't remember that scene at all. I do. It was hilarious. Vincent, I appreciate you're with us. You're not our team member right now, though. So <laughs> I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm Just not. mute yourself. Mute yourself, I'm not, friend. I'm not. Okay. Um. So if you do what? Dance or like sneeze or something weird like that? I don't know. I don't know why sneeze popped into my head, but. Whatever you guys want to put, because I yeah, I, go with I your first know. gut. Put sneeze if if that jumped out at you. That, I, mean, it's I have no idea why, but that popped into my head. It could be totally off base. Okay. 
Would you repeat? Uh, would I, you uh, read them? Read sure. them to me. I want to write them down. Yep. Okay. Question number one. So long and thanks for all the fish. Okay. Uh, question two. We're going with dolphin. We hope because I'm positive that yeah, mice mice is number one, but I think dolphin is like we always like. Oh, humans are the first. No, we're actually like further down the list. <laughs> Uh, the star number three is Arturus. Uh, we have Barbaric for number four. Uh, number five, yellow. Number six, what is the meaning of life? Capital L in life. Um, number seven, my, yeah, mice. We have mice. Not sure on that, but that's what we got. Yeah, I'm not either. Um, number eight, translated into multiple languages. Number nine is Marvin. And number 10, we have Sneeze. Okay, good. Sounds good. Okay. Um, anybody want to talk about any of those things or maybe talk about something unrelated to the category? Um, I'm, I mean, yeah, if anyone wants to rethink or, or go back to one of the other or one of the questions, uh, totally fine. Nope. Okay. Oh. Um, I so will I was... tell you, I, I'm sorry, Sue, I don't know if I care. No, it's okay. Um, I was just going to say, I read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy before the book became really popular. And when it became popular, I was pretty puzzled because to me, it was just it's a book, but everybody's thinking it's like the Bible. I mean, every, especially in the... Uh, free thought community there it's like they're treating it like it was a bible <laughs> this is the most sacred things i was still confused about why they think the book is great you just thought you it was thought an it was odd myth? book or no i just thought it was average oh, okay. <laughs> just thought it was like an average that it didn't seem that deep it didn't seem that deep to me and is that what it's regarded for for its uh, deep thought put forward in a creative way I I don't know. I, I still can't figure out why that book is so popular and why people seem to worship that book and think it's so great. Hmm. So what, what were you going to say, Karen? Oh, I was just going to ask Ben about his day. Oh. How it worked out in your day, you know, to host thank you for oh, doing uh, this and, yeah, and sure. work was going to be pretty busy so thank you for yeah doing work it. ended up being busy but not too too busy so um yeah and luckily i signed in early like at seven because i got the it's been a while so i got the request for the code so i had to reach out oh. to susan um and then susan had to pull out her laptop so she could get to the code and you mm -hmm. know it does that whole oh he didn't put the code in soon enough so that code's expired now you need another one but right. then she gave me the second code like right away and i put it in and i'm like all right i'm in cool so I, I i was like i hope i wasn't bugging you at a bad time but you know the show must go on right we had to get i had to get into zoom so the show could go on good she's and a good she multitasker me. yeah <laughs> exactly good. oh yeah she just had to pull out her laptop and once she did that and got to the emails then I was in. I was good to go. Wunderbar. Yes. Yeah. So, and then your meeting got rescheduled or something. So you were yeah. available because were you just not going to be able to trivia at all tonight or you just were going to be on late? Maybe get here like at 645 mm. or 7, something like that, which I wouldn't, you know, wouldn't want to hold things up. No, right. I only had a, a standing meeting on second thursdays and that's supposed to be done by 7 30 7 45 um it, we used to use my zoom for that meeting that second thursday meeting oh. but now i now they're using someone else's so i just leave it the meeting if it's not done by 7 30 and trust my colleagues to you know some people right. are better about being efficient with the one hour i like to if we're if it's some if in a meeting if something's taking a long time and only a couple of people are interested and we don't all have to be in on the conversation here let's take let's move that to the end or uh -huh. table that to a side conversation so that we can move through everything not everybody right. handles the meeting the same way though. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Vincent. Hi. So Hi. I'm gonna. You're gonna close rooms. There, so everybody. There might, be some, there might be some arguments and. 
I'm I might need help. So Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um so we, I'm going We got to... your back, Vincent. Yep. Oh god, I hope so. Uh so I'm gonna close all rooms. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. But I tell you, this Zoom, it's really hard to let it go for a lot of meetings. I miss being with people in one regard. But it's just so much easier to get together with Zoom. Yep. Well, that's how I was able to see my friends and family for like two years. I hadn't seen them in person. Carl and my nephew and his wife and kids, who they're the same age as my kids. So they weren't none of, none of us were able to see each other for a couple of years, and we did a lot of stuff over Zoom. We almost hung out every weekend on zoom we would either play like a like a board game dungeons and dragons or like play computer games um against oh, each other but yet still have zoom up so that we could see each other and, and converse while we were doing that yes like hanging out just hanging out yeah. yeah 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 and it was great and then oh my god when we finally got to see each other in person it was great all right welcome back everyone mm -hmm. oh boy i don't remember my uh hitchhiker's guide near as well as i should <laughs> i confess to my team that i'm probably one of very few skeptics who never read the whole book i read like the so part. you've got to remember that the questions that i got are just from the movie so um, I looked up um there is a podcast about it, so maybe I'll listen to a podcast about it. Yeah. And if well, I've never, I've I've never really... read Wendy, I didn't know a single one. So I was and I think there's more I than did, one yeah. movie, isn't there? There's I didn't I one... didn't watch the movie. I, I I was going by my memory of the books and the original radio play. <laughs> yeah. Oh there is also yeah. a television version. Yeah, yeah there's a BBC yep. television version. Yeah. yeah, but no, this this was from the 2003 or 2006 movie. I forgot when it came out. Came out a long time ago. 2000, 2005? 2005, yeah. I think five. Well, let, let's hear these answers, Vincent. Yeah. Okay, all right. So the answer to number one, so what they actually meant was so long and thanks for all the fish <laughs> i don't remember the whole song but it's title of book number four got it oh, thank you it was also the subject line of my resignation note when i left my company <laughs> i love that <laughs> that's awesome that's that's wow. pretty perfect that's very cool that's great. pretty yeah. good well done okay <laughs> okay so long, and thanks for all the fish. <laughs> uh, number two. Um, what were the second most intelligent creatures on Earth? And if you knew number one, then you probably knew number two. Oh, no, don't. Oh. Yep. Oh. And that was my, that was my uh, fault. So that was, uh, oh, oh I forgot the blurbs. So here I am putting the answers, and then I forgot the blurbs that I also took off the internet. I cheated. Okay, so number <laughs> one, the dolphins of Earth being the second most intelligent species on Earth, while humans were the third, long knew of the impending destruction of Earth. They decide to leave after many attempts to alert humans of the approaching danger. Uh, number two, according to the narrator, dolphins had long known of the impending destruction of Earth and had left before the end of the planet. Unfortunately, humans had misinterpreted the dolphin language as loud chirps and funny tricks. Uh, should <laughs> Probably be ticks or something. 
their last message uh, to us was so long and thanks for all the fish. Okay, uh, number three is... I thought it was mice. Aren't the mice the... Were they no, the smartest? Number mice one. is number one. Mice yeah, the number smartest one. ones, yeah. We got we got that backwards. Oh well. So number three is Beetlejuice. Oh, yes. oh good job. Oh, yeah. Yep. So prior to the events that occurred in the beginning of the episode, Arthur Dent had no idea that his friend Ford was an alien. When Arthur realizes that his house is going to be demolished he tries to prevent it from being flattened and ford comes along with a beer to distract the demolition crew he takes arthur to a pub and tells him the whole story of course in the movie he did not uh, okay hobby number four According to the guide, the Vogons are one of the most unpleasant races in the galaxy. So it was unpleasant. But if you had something close to that, I'll just Is give vicious it to close to unpleasant? Sure. Why not? Oh, okay. Yeah. Remember, you're dealing with a Canadian here, and we like to give away points. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so the blurb that I have after escaping Earth, Arthur, look, looks up Vogons in the guide. It tells him that Vogons are one of the most unpleasant races in the galaxy and they wouldn't even lift a finger to save their own grandmothers. Hmm. Who does that remind me of? <laughs> <laughs> Number five. What color is the Babel fish? And uh, according to the movie, uh, they are yellow. Yes. <sighs> Good yellow. guess, Karen. We were we were in sync on that one. In sync. Hey, I know oh, that. Gold, gold is not co close enough to yellow, though, right? Yeah, oh. sure. Why not? Oh, oh, that. Well, in that case, is white close enough? <laughs> 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 white gold? Nice try. Wait, no. Okay. So the blurb is, according to the Hitchhiker's Guide, the Babel fish is small, yellow, and leech-like. It feeds on brainwave energy, absorbing unconscious frequencies, and excreting a wave of conscious frequencies to the speech centers of the brain. Basically, when you stick a Babel fish in your ear, you can understand any language in the universe. <sighs> Wouldn't that be nice? I always thought that would be a wonderful thing to, ha to have. And yeah. of course, there's the very first company that did computer translating called themselves Babel Fish. Yep. Yes. Ah, yes. So number six, people kind of him didn't hot about this one. It was <laughs> difficult. Um, a supercomputer has been designed to answer the ultimate question, what is it? And I was asking for what did they ask the computer? So. Um, oh. Yes. Uh, yeah, and you clarified that when someone inquired during yeah. the setup. Yes, or at least I tried to. But yeah. so, what is uh, not uh, what? What is the question? Not what is the computer? Right. What <laughs> yeah, is the question? Is. You were clear. Right. Yeah. 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 So the answer is: yeah. What is the answer to life, the universe, and everything? Well, and of course, everybody knows. Is forty-two. Forty-two. Uh, yes. Except that the Earth was the computer, and it was. Uh, Cause uh, cause to make mistakes because the sea ship landed on it. The people from the sea ship uh, uh, the BR the, from the BR. Well, yes. That's technically the BR. Yeah, he plot was the computer designed to answer the question. Earth was designed to determine what the question was. Yes. Okay. okay. So I have the blurb. 
This question is then asked of deep thought, the supercomputer, soon after she is made. She says she'll have to think about it and that they should return in seven and a half million years for her answer. <laughs> yeah. Helpful. Yes. Ultimate question. Ultimate, ultimate question t shirts, ultimate question. <laughs> Okay, uh, number seven, after picking up and ejected into space by a Vogon ship, Arthur Ford gets picked up by, uh, Arthur and Ford get picked up by the Heart of Gold. What do they transform into because of the infinite probability drive? The answer is sofas. Oh, sofas. And that's sofas. just, in the, and that's in the movie. I forgot what it was in the book. Or if they even transformed into anything from the book. I don't recall them transforming into anything in the book of the radio play. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Th there, mm -hmm. it, there's a point at which, I don't know at which time of the, one time one of them turns into a penguin. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I cool. remember that now. Yeah. So, there is the blurb. And I, I got like at one point in the movie, they turn into yarn, but that must have been at a different time. Yeah. The chances of being picked up by another ship while floating in outer space are 2 to the power of 207,904,000. No, wait, 2,079,600,000. No, wait, I got that wrong. 207,946,000. Really <laughs> No, I can't. I, I'm sorry. I can't get it right. 207-946-0347 to 1. Luckily, <laughs> Arthur Dent and Ford Prefect were picked up on time and they were escorted to the bridge where they saw some familiar faces. Ah. Which brings the which brings the improbability to to to, to infinity. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, number eight. What are the two reasons The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is one of the best selling books? This was in the this was in the book as well as in the movie. So you want but you wanted both reasons, huh? Yeah. Uh well, you'll see what the answer is, and I only wanted one answer. Uh, it is cheaper and has Don't Panic on its cover. Oh, is Don't Panic good enough? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. You got the gist. We were preventing panic. <laughs> <laughs> we said Don't Panic. We knew what it was. What did okay. it do? Here's the blurb. The guide is used to help explain things in the film. In one entry, the voice of the guide, played by Stephen Fry, explains how it is one of the most popular books in the universe. Not only is it a wholly remarkable book, it is also a highly successful one. More popular than The Celestial Home Care Omnibus, better selling than 53 more things to do in zero gravity and more controversial than Ulan Kolofid's trilogy of philosophical blockbusters, Where God Went Wrong, Some More of God's Greatest Mistakes, and Who is This God Person Anyway? This extract, <laughs> <laughs> this extract is concluded with two reasons why the guide is so popular. Firstly, it is cheap, and secondly, it has "Don't Panic" written in large, friendly letters on the front cover. Love friendly letters. Yes. <laughs> large. Is that like comic? So for is number it like eight, comic Sam's. Do you need two answers <laughs> or one answer for number eight? Because Rob wasn't just, here to argue that. Just he gave us I "Don't Panic," know. so we'll go with it. Just okay. one answer: "Don't Panic." Uh, That's two answers: "Don't" and "Panic." Sure. <laughs> what is the name of the robot on the heart of gold? 
and what? some people, most people got this. It was Marvin. It's Marvin the Paranoid. Marvin the Paranoid Android. Yep. Yeah. Played by Alan Rickman. Yes. I Alan remember who Rickman. played it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, where is the blurb? And the blurb is, oddly, Marvin is extremely depressed throughout the whole movie. Since he was built by Sirius Cybernetics Corporation, he was the prototype for the genuine people personalities chip. Throughout the movie, he always shares his grim outlook uh, with the main characters, and he's responsible for saving everyone in the end. Which I had to change a question because of that blurb. But... On Vagosphere, you'll be slapped in the face with a paddle that comes out of the ground if you do what? I don't think anybody got this, which is... You might get slapped in the face if you think that. Ah, see? Ah, somebody got it. Stink. Really? Having original thought is correct? Think. Or, yeah, having original thought, sure. Wow. With that, why not? Good for you, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Um, after Marvin, Ford, Arthur, and Zafod or Zaphod, land on Vogsphere and get slapped in the face a few times. They figure out why they're getting slapped. They try not thinking about anything, but it doesn't work too well. They actually run for the city as fast as they can. Yeah. That is, they like, say, is... Yeah, like, like trying not to think of a pig elephant. <laughs> Sure. You made us think an awful lot for this category. It was good. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. You guys enjoyed it? Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. I yes. always like I'm glad. Always like good. hitchhikers. I just wish I remembered more of it. Yeah. Than yeah. I do. There's there's a there's a lot of questions that he got from that particular website. So All right. there might be I might be able to do more. Who knows? You might have inspired me to read the books again. It's been fifty years. Well, um, it uh, see this this came from the movie, so I do remember some bits and pieces from the book, and some of these were definitely not in the in the in, in the, the movie or in the book. All right, are we ready for scores? We are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, geez, we object to anything but a guilty verdict. We got five. So, you know, we're, we're, we got the same score we did last round. So we're just trying to keep it right down the middle. Oh. Um, Martha Ann Alito lacks standing for an appeal to heaven. Nine. Nine. Very nice. Okay. Nothing happened this week. Six. Okay. Trump sells his new GOP unified Reich wristwatch. It's a swatch. Oh, I'm cut off. Swatch ticker. Swatch ticker. Four. Four. Okay. What the puck? Eight. Did I hear eight? You heard eight. Okay, yes. average score 6.4. Mm. Team five in the lead. Thank you, Vincent. Yes, good job, Vincent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. you're welcome. I, right. I'm so glad it went better than the last time. <laughs> <laughs> break time or photo? I photo love time first, photo then first. we'll have break time. Actually, the last time I sang to everyone, and I was going to do that again, but I didn't have enough time. To do it again next time. Ready. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me pop out well, the you. You guys meeting did chat. Like my singing. <gasps> I feel validated. Thanks. Yay. Very <laughs> nice. Hey, Robin. Good. I can put my hand up and block my mask <laughs> behind me. <laughs> So if you're All validated, right. you're not you're not invalid. 
<laughs> Everyone don't ready? Forget, yep, don't forget the smile cat. Three, <laughs> two, one, tea. Please. I'm going to yeah. reboot my computer in the break, so All I right. will come back. But I can, I can Good luck. stay on for one more hour. I think I got it. Let me look. Where are you, Susan? It goes it goes right to Susan. I send it to her. Love it. <laughs> uh all right, there we go. It has been sent. All right, everybody, okay. we're gonna do where, where did uh, Susan go? Did she go to New Mexico for she's uh, doing the skeptic camp? In New Mexico. In, 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 uh, in, no, uh, in uh right. Faith North North yeah, it's North Carolina. Yes, yeah, North Carolina North, first, North then it's Carolina. New Mexico next week. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have to go do my chickens. Okay, five minutes, everybody. Okay, all right. I'm going to reboot. Uh, I'm going to let me back in when I get here. <laughs> Robin, have you have you started listening to opening arguments again? No, I'm kind of pissed off at them for being assholes. I I never liked I liked Andrew. I didn't like Thomas. Thomas Good. won the battle with Andrew, and now I'm not interested. The new lawyer that has that is working with Thomas is wonderful. His name is Matt Cameron, and he's his wife is a lawyer. His special uh, Matt's specialty is immigration law, oh. and he's very articulate. He's calm, so he kind of balances Thomas, and okay. and I like him as much as I liked Andrew before I knew that Andrew. You know, I mean what what he did when he kind of sh the thing that was upsetting to me was that he was um that he shut thomas out of his access to the show and um and um and i don't know much else about it that well it, i saw it as andrew's show to begin with i thought you know i thought that thomas was the sidekick andrew was the driving force there was no show without andrew and right. so I felt like Andrew was the one who should shut the other one out. I um I didn't know all that background. I didn't start listening to it until you told me about it. And I fell in love with it just the way it was. And then it was um disturbing. I didn't understand all the um connections to other um other podcasts and other issues and, and groups. But I, I probably don't understand. understand them either. <laughs> well, they, there was something about puzzle and a thunderstorm and and some other other groups that I don't um, know anything about them. that. Yeah. Well, the thing that that kept when um when uh I would go back and listen to it occasionally, Thomas by himself is hard to take, but he this uh, he does a lot of his of other podcasting and evidently Matt made um uh made some kind of partnership with him after a brief appearance on one of Thomas's other podcasts that I don't listen to I tried listening to Dear Old Dads and hated it and um and but there's a lot he, that's his job is Thomas Smith is um a podcaster yeah. So he came on this this guy Matt Cameron came on as uh the attorney on the show and he's great. He has a great kind of um calming influence. He, he explains things, he has a nice voice, a nice um uh understanding of of um the issues that come up when people, you know, like uh, when the discussion is about current events. Well, he's well informed. So anyway, and Andrew I, has I, another podcast with somebody else too. Oh, there was yeah. He was he was he had. I don't know what it, his new one was is, but um, he had uh, uh, he was he had opening arguments with Liz Die. Oh, okay. For a while until Thomas wrestled it back. Yeah. Yeah. 
And I, and I tried to like her Uh and, you know, keep my mind off the lawsuit Uh and, um, um, and, and I wasn't crazy about her, but I have like about a million podcasts that I listen to. And then when I listened to it again, and it was when Matt Cameron had started, um, being Thomas's, uh, uh, partner (laughs) and I was, really favorably impressed and i wondered if you had an opinion but you haven't been listening i haven't been listening i i have been so busy working and stuff i plus ever since i went to antarctica i've been a little bit bird obsessed so that's kind of what i've been doing with my spare time i've been looking at bird like today i watched some videos on birding in south africa (laughs) oh so, uh-huh. so Wendy, Robin. yes. With, w- without without me getting into anything about taking sides and the behind the scenes thing, here's yeah. my take of what I call the three iterations of the of opening arguments podcast. Okay. okay, first iteration with Andrew and Thomas, to me was the best. There was yes. the best balance between them and the best bar- bantering and in- interaction. Yes, when it when it was when it was Andrew and Liz, the big problem for me there was. Boredom. They lost the the i the the person for the regular person to identify with. It's two attorneys talking law to each other instead of yeah. one attorney talking law to a non-attorney and explaining it to the audience through that mechanism. Right. And okay. now it's not bad now, except I think uh, Thomas needs to dial down the humor a little bit. He jokes too much. He's forcing jokes in all the time. Mm. And he needs to dial that down to maybe half. Oh. He's try- I think he's trying too hard with the humor. Yeah, and it's and it's kind of it's it's it gets to the point of um I just wanna say, Thomas, stop. Yeah. And, it, <laughs> I, and I think his partner <laughs> is not comfortable pushing back <laughs> on him because it's Thomas's podcast. Try not to kill I don't feel comfortable tell trying to get thomas to dial it down yeah but do you do, are you crazy about matt Cameron though i like i like the attorney guy yeah i like him i i like a lot of like his stories about immigration law and stuff very interesting i think cat is being attacked by her cat <laughs> yeah. hopefully it's i the kind cat. of guess that <laughs> well, oh, yeah. Robin. Well, well, let's hope that's thing. what it was robin would you say the bird is the word then <laughs> birds are birds are just the best thing in the world. So, so the bird is the word then. Birds aren't real. Yeah, the, definitely the word. <laughs> birds are, birds are, birds are definitely so they're real. not real, but are they still the word? That's yeah. the question. You know what pisses me off about that birds aren't real thing? The guy who did that well did it as a joke, and it's yeah. it's adding to the chaos factor of reality interpretation by stupid humans. Yes. Yeah. In other I, words, he he was doing it as a sarcasm, but it didn't go over as sarcasm on he the proved stupid the wrong people. point. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Show it goes to goes to show you how easy it is for things to catch on. That I think that was his believe. point. Right. That was his I, point. Yeah. Yep. Is how it would and um, but between that and fake bird pictures. Uh, AI pictures on Facebook. I'm just like ready to tune in, tune out, drop out. <laughs> I, I, I'm tired of AI pictures pretending to be real pictures. Of yeah, things. Uh, that's uh, ridiculous. Yeah. That is driving me absolutely like, batshit crazy. It's because swear, people like, believe this. I mean, like it's seventy five percent of the pictures in my feed are now fake crap. Yeah, yeah, fake crap. And no, I that just, wasn't the eclipse. That wasn't the Roy Burt Alice. Exactly. <laughs> And, you know, like the one of the Golden Gate Bridge with the Aurora, it's like, oh, come on, people. This is like a sunset and a, an Aurora <laughs> together. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> uh, the trouble then the trouble is that when there's an important picture that is real, yeah. on there, people don't believe okay. it. People right. question it, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And now I'm seeing what I think are probably excellent bird photo photography, the kind that Leonard does. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, you go, is that a real photograph? You start doubting. 
people um, who shouldn't be doubted. And it's just, yeah. it's, it's making too much chaos in my little world. And you can understand how people get fooled by it because there's some pretty spectacular birds out there, you know, from there other parts of the world birds. that, yeah. you, you know, that are just, that are almost unbelievable, you know, so colorful, so much. Yes, like the resplendent Quetzal, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look I mean, at that like, bird and you go, that can't possibly who's, be who's real. Who's going to think that's yeah. real? Yeah, so that's why, it's, that's why it's easy to fool people. But like one of them has a chicken beak. And it's, I mean, if, <laughs> if you, if you, I'm not I mean, there are some animals that just have some really, really weird features that you think, oh, that can't be real. And then it's real. Yeah. So then it's, like, then it's easy to believe one that's fake because it's believable because stranger things have happened. Right. And it's like, but, but I wish people would just go out go outside once in a while and look at something that's real. And then they would understand mm -hmm. what's feasible if yep. they were observant about the natural world at all, they would go, well, that's not, that's not feasible. That one's feasible. That is a that, that looks like a real happen. bird. I would hope it's a real bird since we're I'm gonna, on. I'm going to show you guys something. Hang on a second. Real picture. That's the resplendent uh, kestrel to which she referred. Oh, yeah. Awesome. That's magnificent and real. This is really resplendent. <laughs> so we do still need two people for next week. We need a bonus and a regular round. This is rather old, but that is a real tail feather of a resplendent Quetzal. Oh, how, wow. how do they taste? Nice. You fry them or you bake them? <laughs> My mother collected this. Um, because somebody in Costa Rica took her to a nest and this tail feather was sitting at the base of the tree where the nest was. Mm. So, you know, and now you're going to shake birds, your tail feather. Birds, <laughs> birds do molt from time to time. But anyway, that's a, that's a resplendent Quetzal tail feather. Mm. You know, cool. it, it's very pretty, nice. Pretty yeah. When you just see, for example, a, a condor and just how large it is. I mean, yeah. that could be pretty unbelievable to somebody who, has not been exposed to a bird that big you know yeah. i mean there's just all kinds of things in life that you know real life real nature that is just so amazing and so incredible that hummingbirds look like big bees to me <laughs> <laughs> i can i can do a, a category susan gerbin okay thank you karen because i currently have jamie rob and Kevin, and now Karen, uh, for a regular round, right, Karen? Regular, please. Okay. And so please. we still have the bonus up for grabs for next week. Oh, I'm, I'm doing tonight. I'm, I'm having a category tonight, right? Yeah. yeah so so why you're, don't, um, tonight you're, you're, you're on. Somehow. Yeah. Do you have something for next week? Otherwise, we will have to replace you, you with you someone off. else. Yeah. No. But she no, has I'm you listed bonus. twice. They listed me I twice? Could, I could do bonus next week. You can do bonus yeah. next week? Okay, yeah. thank you, Robin. No, and then if you need to be, need to be replaced, week, we can replace yeah. you. I'm, yeah, I'm just doing a category tonight. And next okay, week, okay so, just tonight. So okay, so we need one more tonight. one more regular round for next week. Do I have any takers? If not, I will bother you again later. <laughs> All right, no takers. I got my eye on you guys. <laughs> so we have... Uh, Oh, uh, anybody have announcements before we go to round three? I think most of our usual announcement givers are all gone this week. Yeah, all the cool kids are off doing fun things. I know, huh? Right? Darn it. Yeah. Oh, I do have an update from Susan. I sent her the picture and she said, oh, I miss you all. So Aww. there's our update. From Susan. Such a good liar. <laughs> <laughs> good liar like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to tell her that. Are you an anchor? Person? She hasn't thought of us at all. <laughs> does, does Kat not have until the, we have all the... start getting drunken texts from her? <laughs> yes. So and that won't happen. So, Kat, we hope it was your cat trying to kill you because <laughs> we heard some things and we want to make sure that you're okay. Me? 
Yeah. Sounds fine. I'm You're alive. fine. She's alive. Okay. All right. Yeah, my cat was hey. trying to kill me, but okay, um, that's I'm it. Alive Cause... now. They okay, that's that. good. Did it try to trip you or, you know, push you yep, down the stairs yep, yep. or okay. <laughs> it was the he cat he's it was a cat fight is what it was. No good. The, the only announcement I kind of have is um Skeptical will be announcing their speakers and promoting quite soon. So oh. cool. keep your eyes out on social media and all that good stuff. Awesome. awesome. So do we have anybody that has any info on the latest episode of Skeptic Zone podcast? Um, Adrian and I are playing the dice game this week. I know that much. There you go. That's, that's a nice update. <laughs> At the reason to turn it all by fun. itself. Exactly. That's, uh, that's the only reason why Where is Adrian? Why is Adrian? Oh, is Adrian in North Carolina with Susan? No, she uh, is going to be in New Mexico. I'm not sure where Adrian is tonight, so... Uh, but we recorded yesterday. Camera worked fine then. Camera's mm. messed up, clearly, still. Uh, so apologies. But yeah, um, Adrian will be on the zone, obviously, this week. And yeah, well, and we're playing the dice game. Okay. Awesome. Anybody awesome. have anything else? Otherwise, we can uh, go start round three. Celia, you ready? Sure. Um, All right. Let's see if I cut you should have babies. your powers. Um, ben. Yes. I don't remember that I'm in group three. <laughs> what are you doing to end up there. next week? Hold on. Let me... On a date and a Wednesday time. Wednesday the 19th. Uh, Wednesday the 29th <laughs> at 6.30 p.m. Uh, I don't know. What, what am I doing? Because Susan will be here. Yes. Speaking at Skeptics in the Pub. Okay. So I'm guessing we're switching game night to a different night. Well, well that's Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Us. Yeah, we'll have to do it on Tuesday if it works for everybody else. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I should that's be our, able to make that's that. That's our Xbox night. Yes. All right. <laughs> so Celia. busy. Such busy Topic people. Topic tonight is plants and pollinators. Well, goody. Okay. Um, decisions I cut and paste. Oh. So... Come on. Cut and paste all day at work. Why can't I do it now? All right. Doesn't seem to want to copy the number. But number one, um, most people think of insects as pollinators, but there are other types of pollinators too, such as mammals. What mammal pollinates mangoes? My favorite fruit. Oops. Oh. Sorry, I said no. Should be quicker than this. Number two. What mammal pollinates Madagascar's? Traveler's palm, and this is also the world's largest natural pollinator. I'm guessing this is really question two. That is two. I I don't know what the the numbers are all correct. My documents. So are I, you using Word, Celia? Yeah, is that the problem? Yeah, yeah. use 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 the Notepad thing for this. It's easy. Or the just, no, the numbers just... will. Next time, or yeah, or next just time. put yeah. the number in and then paste around oh, it. Yeah. Okay, that's a yeah. good idea. Because yeah, word won't do word. it. Word won't. Word doesn't like it. That's weird. Why wouldn't word like that? Because mm -hmm. they automatically yeah. put it word in for you. <laughs> yeah, it's you know uh, secret format. I use word all the time. I never have any problems. And you can paste into this. Okay. You can paste into Zoom. Yeah. Number oh, three. Okay. So there are mammals or insects and there are reptiles that poll are pollinators. So what reptile pollinates the mulunga tree in Brazil? Hmm. 
And I'm going to go ahead and write four. <laughs> um, so now it's going to say 41. Sorry. <laughs> what reptile pollinates the Marantesius trotectia flower? Oops, I didn't hit it. Sent, sorry. How specific we, do we have to be? Do we have to say the... Um, you do not have to give the exact species. Okay. But the be a long I round think... with 41 row questions. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. A lot of questions. <laughs> the, but you know, the, the, you know, distinguish at least the type of reptile, you know, not just reptile, okay. you know, and yeah. that helps. Like snake versus iguana or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. Versus lizard versus whatever. Um, yeah. But I know those are pretty tough. So I, I'm not going to get into the, you know, the scientific, very, very specific lizard, but... Okay. Okay, so now I have three related questions. Uh, so I don't know how, um, five, six, and seven. Uh, 52, what? 53, and 54. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Question, oh gosh, this is going to be very confusing, isn't it? With the stupid numbers. But anyways, question five is what seasoning used especially in baking comes from an orchid and is pollinated by a rare bee? Okay, and then six is what country is the primary source for this seasoning? That was in number five. God, I really need to go change all those numbers. That's really confusing. So sorry. And then number seven, because this rare pollinating bee for this, you know, for this seasoning, for this. Are you putting them in the chat? Because I don't, I don't see, no. I see one, one, three, and 41. And oh, sorry. Okay. The there you go. Oh, gosh. One. Can, can oh. I? Can you, can, you, can you can paste the text in oh. there and then edit <laughs> the numbers before you can hit enter. Can I edit enter. the numbers? Yeah. Um, after, but just can paste I know the that text I in there. It? No, before you no, post but it, before, before you, you hit, hit enter, enter. Sorry, paste okay. the data in there and then just edit it before you hit the... Oh, you could spell the number six, S-I-X. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I'm sorry. So let's do a little, a little review. The, the first one, the real number one is what mammal pollinates mangoes. And then number two, what mammal pollinates the traveler's palm? Number three, what reptile pollinates the malonga tree in Brazil? Number four, re reptile pollinates the Morinitis trotectia flower. Okay. And Mauritius. Then... Trotectia. Mauritius. Thank Mauritius. You. Thank Bill you. and I are familiar with Mauritius. <laughs> we are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, five, six, and seven are related, and they're down there as one, two, three. I'm so sorry. Yep. But... Um, Five is what seasoning used especially in baking comes from an orchid and is pollinated by a rare bee. Um, six, what country is the primary source for this seasoning? That's you answered in number five. And then seven, because a pollinating bee for this seasoning or the, for this orchid is not native to the country listed in number six, producers have developed another pollination method. What is that? Okay, we, everyone sort of got the numbering? Yeah, yeah they're in order. Yeah, the numbering's, okay, fine. We, okay. We can deal with yeah, it. it'll be fine. I can repaste them all after too. And okay, cool. I already have yeah. the numbers edited, so all right. it's not a problem. All right, so number... Eight. You think it's so easy to cut and paste. Sometimes I think it's just easier just to rewrite it. <laughs> it depends on how long. <laughs> depends on what it is. Yeah. Actually, I always have this problem when I do it. Because I'll have like a word file or something, and then I you have to go back and forth and under okay. pressure number eight 
we have all that on there? I can't see it all. Okay, number, oh, it says 81. But anyway, number what, eight, what insect, insect which gives a nasty bite but isn't a mosquito pollinates cacao? This insect also has the fastest wing beat at 62,760 beats per minute. Are you putting that one in the chat? Oh, God, I keep forgetting to hit the sends. I'm sorry. So a non-mosquito biting insect that pollinates the cacao so that we can enjoy chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> My question is, did they count those beats individually? <laughs> <laughs> I wow. have no idea how they came how they figured that one out. <laughs> That's what graduate students do. do. <laughs> <laughs> no, they used the word. It was actually just 62, but it added the 760. <laughs> Wait till you get to question 10. <laughs> Okay, oh, nine. Man. What marsupial in Australia poll pollinates many flowering plants, including eucalyptus, heath, bottle brush, and many others? Okay. Okay, so now you want big numbers. <laughs> Number 10, which isn't the big number. Uh, 101. Oh, gosh. Why is it getting... 101 questions. <laughs> 102. Now it's not even wanting to let me cut and copy and paste here. Oh, heck with it. Let me write this one in. Okay. Number 10. okay so here's big numbers for you how many plants on average does a single honey bee pollinate in a single year and i will accept because it is such a big number plus or minus 100 billion what wow <laughs> that might be the biggest range we've ever had <laughs> i'm sure no, it that is. can't be real it's, it's, billions. it's hundreds hundreds of billions i don't think honeybees live a year and if they did one every second there were that's more than that's there... years yeah exactly well, if you think the number is under 100 billion put zero there you go <laughs> <laughs> put, and you'll put be 100 in the range. billion because you got minus it would it would take 100 billion years to do like the math doesn't add up there well for something a bee could do well i can blame just this. tell them your source celia once they answer the questions to put in what your source is and they can question that source and then later we can it's all a, get the point that's a good point not right <laughs> What does an above average honeybee do? <laughs> oh. All right. Well, okay, let's take it this way. So if you had what about the married the honeybees? They don't do as many, do they? Huh. They're busy taking care of the kids and stuff. And they're doing the honeydews. They just drone on and on. <laughs> they oh, on. Just how many they, they they pollinate in a day and multiply that by 365 days well like they're not active in but the winter that a honeybee doesn't live an entire year okay how many yeah. plants <sighs> well let's say it could do a thousand a day which would, seems like an awful lot that would be 365,000 a year except they only la live about three months yeah so let's and call that a hundred plants days. versus flowers too. Julia, give everybody a credit for number ten. 
<laughs> yeah, 100 billion divided well, by... Well, maybe they mean how many flowers are pollinated by bees in a year right. rather than a how single many... one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. That that would make sense. yeah. That's, a good, that's a good thought, uh, Karen. Go yeah, back to my source. That's, that's yeah, it might be how many how many um fruits are the result of honey well i think how many flowers is fine you're right F there flowers, are multiple flowers fruits. on a plant yeah. but let's let's give it that um well and all those composite flowers you know if they count as individual flowers even if it did 10 a second times Thanks. three months it's not that I, number. I prefer to just leave the original wording in place, answer 100 billion. That gives me from zero to 200 billion. <laughs> if it's less than 100 billion, I get a point. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah and, then, and then find in Wikipedia. So everybody gets a point. Like I said, everybody gets credit for number 10. Why don't we get going? The answer is 200 yeah. billion plus one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Carl's wrong. Do you have powers or do you need? Uh, me to yeah, open up the room. open out the breakout room. Uh, um, open up the breakout rooms. I can't talk tonight. I apologize. <laughs> I should have the powers here, right? Let me. Um, yes. Do I it, need to get thrown back into room? Remind me what it's under. I see host tools. Is that it? Probably under breakout more. Rooms. More. More. Oh, right. You and should see breakout uh, breakout, breakout rooms, rooms, and then Got yep, it. and okay. then open and that open up, and there should be oh, open okay. all rooms. What are your rooms, people? What <laughs> cat you are in? Five. Five. Okay. I will add you. Danka. You're welcome. Sorry, it didn't fix my camera problem. <laughs> I'm counting on Susan Gerben. Hello, team. Because <laughs> I don't All have right. the answers to any of these. Okay. Hey, someone's uh, sharing their screen. I don't have to this time. Yeah. I have to okay. earn my keep somehow. So does anybody have an answer to any of the questions other than number 10? I have no clue. I have some guesses. That's all. Okay. Well, pick a number and a guess. Well, let's think about number one. Where do mangoes grow? Like Jamaica, right? Yeah. Places like that kind of tropical. Yeah. Places. yeah. So, what kind of mammals are there? It's going to be some kind of a uh, little mouse or something that eats mangoes, or some kind of I don't know squirrel, squirrel. something. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. thinking. So, mouse, a squirrel, or some sort of a little varmint like that. I like the squirrel, raccoon. But, yeah. Something. What do we like better? Do they have squirrels and raccoons and stuff like that in Jamaica in the in the hot no area? No idea. Yeah, I don't know. It's been forty years since I was there. I'm trying to remember what kind of. How about just mice? Mice works. I'm pretty sure they mice. have mice. You gotta have yeah. mice everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Madagascar's travel. Natural pollinator. I was thinking the lemur. Ooh, I like it. Good. I like that answer. All right, what reptile? Which it sounds like in Brazil. We have like one of those tree climbing lizard, lizard of, things. Yeah. One of those tree climbing lizard things, like a a gill monster or something like that. Or yeah, except those are in the U.S. Oh, okay. What's the one? What's the uh the iguana. Do the, were those well, that could there? do it, yeah. Because they're down there's I'm pretty sure they're down South America. Yeah, iguana. Okay. Sounds good to me. Okay, so what kind of a reptile is off in Mauritius? Iguana too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> An iguana don. It's a flower that could be something low to the ground. Yeah. Like, Salamander or something like that. Yeah, that's a good guess. Sure. Why not? Okay, so what kind of the next three are the ones that are kind of related? To All each related, other. right? What seasoning comes from an orchid? 
Hold Ooh, uh, used especially in baking. What What do you adds use? to baking? What do you use mostly in baking? Uh, that'd be something like saffron. Saffron is from the flower, isn't it? That sounds good. And I know it's, I mean, I know it's extremely expensive, which makes sense if it comes from a, a orchid and pollinated by a rare bee. So why not? And because pollinating bee for the seasoning is not native in the country, they've developed another method. That's crazy. Um. So what country do we No, think no, it is? no. Number five is vanilla. That's I think the so. pods. The pods are in orchids. Oh, that could be. Okay, yeah. I like that. Oops. Country. Oh, and yeah, you use vanilla and baking like crazy. Definitely use that much. I, yeah, saffron's more of a spice for Uh, first thing I came up seasoning. with was coriander because I just liked the sound of it, but I said it can't be that. No, vanilla makes way more sense, Kevin. Yeah, I like, I think I like so. that answer. Yeah. So, um, where's all the vanilla made? Because isn't vanilla, it's super expensive, and they, they use a lot of the artificial stuff now because of how expensive real Yeah. vanilla is. Right. But what the heck country is it? I can't even think of what country. So I'm going to pick their favorite random country. Is it like South America somewhere? I'm trying to think of whether like they we had vanilla prior to like the you know the discovery of the new world or was that one of the the the, the flavorings that Can we I brought go it grab across? a bottle of vanilla out of the cupboard and see what it says? <laughs> Product of right. China, something. Yeah, probably, <laughs> probably product of China right now. Yep. But didn't was vanilla one of the ones that had some uh, issues with how it was? Farmed labor type issues. I don't know. I wouldn't It could be be surprised. confusing it with something else, but it sounds like everything is nowadays. Well, I know cocoa's Like got cocoa. that. Yeah, Cocoa cocoa's definitely. bad. Coffee's got that. I keep thinking it's South America, but I don't know why. So That's what popped into my head too, but I don't. Know. I don't know. Want to pick your favorite South American country? Brazil. <laughs> I'll put Brazil until I hear otherwise. Okay. My bottle just says packed in the USA. <laughs> that doesn't tell us where it's from. Yeah. <laughs> no. We we're picking Brazil. That's fine. Like, I have no We clue. don't know if it's right Yeah, or not, total, but total guess. So unless somebody has a brain fart Okay, or something. so how is it pollinated since Wow. are they like scraping the bees and I don't know. No idea what, what that would be. They probably just shake shake the things or something. You know what I mean? The plants, they vibrated or something. Oh yeah, that's not Something like that. They probably just grab the cheat, the plant and shake it or the tree or whatever it grows on. The orchids. shaking the tree. Peter Oh. Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, shocking the monkey. <clears throat> well, I don't know if it's a tree, it's a plant, really all good. Shake the plant. That Oh, covers yeah, okay, yeah. covers trees That's, that's, and that's flowers. more generic. I like that. Yep, that's good. All right, what insect which gives a nasty bite but isn't a mosquito? Oh, and this pollinates cocoa. And it says the fastest swing beat. A tsetse fly. I'm Except just guessing now. except they're in Africa and Oh, we're okay. we're not not to say that's wrong because we guess <laughs> South America. but where is uh, Coco from? Isn't it from, they did, did they do some kind of thing about the people who produce it? Yep. The Which documentary I thought was South of America. how, Yep, how they did. abused they are. 
What's what's a fly that carries disease to make it controversial? Well, tsetse fly for sure. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking. But that's just a guess. But it's small. I, I, I mean, I'm okay with that. I don't know. All right. Well, in this case, I think we have to switch uh, from Brazil because I don't think they're. I think they're native to Africa. Yeah, but vanilla is not cocoa. Don't mix up the two. Yeah, did we? Wait, what? No, the, the six, seven, and eight. I thought of the ones. Oh, wait a minute. It's five, no. six, and seven that are together. Yeah. So, okay, eight is a mind. new thing. It's a new thing. Never mind. So we're fine. Well, okay, that makes sense. I was confused. Okay. I was like, why are we worried about the previous yeah, question? Okay. okay, that makes sense. We're good, yep. man. We're good. So there's only a couple of marsupials in Australia. The kangaroo and what? The uh, koala. Koala. I think the koala is in trees more. Yes, yep, the, it lives definitely. In trees and it eats eucalyptus as a hint. That's what their primary diet is. Right, right, yeah. Like, go koala. with the koala. It works for me. I like it. So yeah, I'm not sure how ten was the plus or minus a hundred billion, but yeah, I think Gail basically said the answer is everybody gets a point. Yeah, yeah. there's no way. You, you take a hundred billion divided by, unless we're talking like if it was like the the site was misprinted yeah. or something, and it was the single hive of bees, maybe or something yeah, that, like that. I, I don't know. For that kind of a number, it's got to be how many plants on average do all honeybees pollinate mm -hmm. in a single year? You can get to that kind of a number, right? Yeah. I All really the bees. double check that one. So how are you doing? Oh, you're back. I mean, well, we, other, we, other we than the answers. Than 10. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think we're I think we're good. Okay. I, I don't I'll like close the rooms now. I don't like number six, but I don't have a better answer. No, I'm not thrilled with it either, but yeah, yeah I agree. But all I right. Think we, I think it should be a bigger country, but Brazil's pretty big. That's the fifth yeah. biggest country in the world. So okay. What's bigger? Near it. Anything? Canada. Oh, near it? Yeah. There's nothing near it. I mean, the only ones bigger are Russia, China, Canada, and Australia. Argentina's near it, right? Yeah. That's not bigger than Brazil? Nope. <coughs> Mexico's not bigger than Brazil? Yeah, Brazil's biggest one in South America and Central America. Only the U.S. and Canada are bigger, I think. Wow. I only yeah, know that because I got that in a trivia question years yeah. ago at work. <laughs> George, <laughs> number George 10 Bush was quoted as saying, Brazil's big. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, he was just so stupid. And then somebody said, well, at least in that regard, he's correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't know how many of these we got right, but this I think I got that one. I, 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 I think I got the last one there. So Okay. 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 Are we ready for scores? No, we have to have answers. Answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's true. I guess we need that first. <laughs> we'll take a 10. Sorry, I'm jumping the gun. Yeah. I'm woozy. I need more, I need more caffeine, apparently. The psychic will predict the scores. I'm saying right. seven Let's on get average. some answers and then we will get scores. Oh, okay. that? All right, fine. Okay. Twist I'll my arm. The time machine. Time machine and psychics. <laughs> Step up, please. This was a fun category. Yeah. Be yeah. difficult. <laughs> oh, it was a very difficult category, but tricky. Some <laughs> tricky little things there, Celia. You're muted. Yep. The buzz. We get the buzz on this one. Yeah. Celia, you're muted. Can you tell us the answers? Goodness, I'm muted. Okay, all right. There I, you I go. Agree that this was this was a tricky one. So number one, what mammal pollinates mangoes is the tropical fruit bat. Yes. Oh, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Oh, now. Hey, yeah. good. That makes sense. They also uh, pollinate bananas. I almost said mangoes and bananas. And I thought maybe that might be too easy. I don't know. Nope, it wasn't. <laughs> can, we, can we just say general bats? Yeah. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. But not Batman. That's not a correct answer. I'm sorry. That's, you know, another, yeah. uh, well, maybe I Batman has that. a side job. You no, never that's know. Robin who does it. Oh, uh, Robin. Anyway, so it's Robin one of those, those things you can talk about how bats are so good that, you know, they eat mosquitoes and they, you know, but they also are, are um, major pollinators in, in the tropics. Hmm. Okay, number two, what mammal pollinates the Madagascar's traveler palm? It's also the largest natural pollinator, and that is a lemur. Yay. Good going, yeah. Cindy. Oh lemur, so cute, yeah. too. Cecilia, don't forget to put the answers in the chat. Oh, my God, I keep forgetting to hit send. I'm so God. <laughs> Okay, tropical fruit bat number two lemurs. Number three, what reptile pollinates the molunga tree in Brazil is a Neurotra skink. And I would take just good job, Karen. skink for that answer. <laughs> Not lizard skink to be Karen, you are the best. Well, that skinks. Thank Kate Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> And you can just have four. skink. You don't. You don't have to have the type of skink, right? You can just have skink, but do have skink as opposed to lizard. Please do have skink. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. They're small. <laughs> Number four. What reptile pollinates the Marinitis trachytia flower? And that is a blue-tailed gecko. You can just have gecko. Can oh, I have the blue tail? We had a Gordon gecko, so that doesn't yeah. count. <laughs> oh. Or you can uh, have this particular gecko? variety yeah. that wears glasses and has a pen pocket protector. The the blue no, tail gecko. <laughs> yes, I like the blue tail gecko, yes. Not awesome. that one. Okay, and then the three related... Copy paste. Okay, so the the five, six, and seven. Come on, copy paste. And then don't forget to hit send, Celia. Okay, the um seasoning made from an yes. orchid is vanilla. And the primary producer, 80% from what I what I found on the internet, 80% of our um, vanilla comes from Madagascar. And what's ah. really bizarre that they would come up with such a big industry for vanilla in Madagascar is that an orchid is not only native, not native there, but the um, it is native to Mexico, by the way, because I heard some people saying that, but uh, it is native to Mexico, but the greater producer of vanilla today is madagascar like 80 percent, but there is none of that bee to pollinate they have no natural pollinators so they pollinate it by hand human oh. cindy you called it by hand Whoa. Um, which to me is just wild that you make an industry um of a plant that you can't so we 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 said like shake the plant is that acceptable for by hand like just shake it <laughs> Because that's what uh, they do. They for the it. human hand, not a machine, not not wind, okay. not whatever like that. Yeah, I would take that. They may they may use paintbrushes or tips or there's all kinds of ways to hand pollinate. Okay, I've yeah, never hand pollinated by shaking. Oh, so shaking. Another you know fascinating thing that I didn't include on here that I learned in my little research you know was actually how many things were like wind pollinated or. That kind mm. of thing. So it's not that. It's by human hand. You know, humans do it. We drew a picture <laughs> shaking the, the stock. So, no. And because it, I, humans were pollinating, <laughs> I um, did include the word when I, uh, about the lemur being the, the biggest, nat, largest natural pollinator. Because, of course, humans are bigger than lemurs, but they're not the natural <laughs> pollinators. Um, you haven't got in like trouble it. for shaking the stock. All right, so <laughs> number eight, what insect pollinates my favorite thing? <laughs> the cacao. Uh, um, and that is a midge. Or in, in, Grenada, in Grenada, we just call them hand 
sand fleas, but they're not sand really flies. a flea. They're not really a flea. They're a midge. And they bite That's nasty. Oh, my God. They are painful when they bite. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they were so prevalent when I was living in, um, in Grenada. <clears throat> and they would just, you know, hover around your ankles and just bite, 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 bite. And, and they're uh, really small? Teeny. Yeah, they're, they're Teeny. Tiny, teeny, tiny. Teeny. And they're a hopping, teeny. they're a hopping insect, Celia. They fly. They, they, fly. they, they, they fly. fly, but they do tend to, to to hang out, which I guess is why Grenadians call them sand fleas, because they would hop like a flea and uh, hang out on, towards the ground. But they do also fly at that rapid wing beat <laughs> um, and get up, you know, fly high enough, you know, into the trees to pollinate. Wow. The, Thank you. The cacao flowers. Yeah. But I just was cursing those for the longest time until I realized that they were pollinating the cacao. And I thought, okay. I tried to pollinate you. The the price I pay <laughs> for that chocolate. Uh, is flying. I'll just, I'll just avoid them. I'll, I'll let somebody else worry about harvesting the cacao. Is flies <laughs> acceptable? Flies? No, that's way too generic. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um yeah no because it was like the whole quick wing beat and all that it had to be a little, Fun fact, a little when more we, specific when we eat chocolate uh we actually do there are bugs in our chocolate okay or protein yeah they've been well cooked with a, lot of, uh, with a lot of a lot of seasonings and stuff have a certain amount Mm -hmm. So this was a really fun one to find out. The marsupial in Australia oh. that pollinates many flowering plants is oh. called a honey possum, or the Aboriginal word is noolbinger. Noolbinger. Oh. Tell me again, what is that? And they were so cute. I should try to find and post a picture. It was a possum. Wow. You know, but they're not like possum. our possums that are like you know big they're like uh, you know, they, they look like a shrew they're like a leaf like oh. a leaf. but they so live cute. in eucalyptus trees also uh they're adorable they apparently yeah, because uh, I, yeah I, I misled my um my team because i was figuring that the clue was the um wallaby the eucalyptus yeah. yeah. Uh, there we go. Yes, aren't they this uh, the cutest thing? I had to include that creature in this <laughs> in this round because I mean, my gosh, look at that! Very cute. This is just the cutest thing. I thought Susan would, would appreciate that. Um. <laughs> yeah, but koalas aren't. Oh, are koalas marsupials? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, of course. Koalas, they are. Yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, koalas are marsupials, and I probably sh we we guessed that, and I should have talked my team out of it because koalas actually are fairly rare. They're not that they're local and limited, and so they're not like they're not going to be pollinators. Uh huh. So the, the only non marsupial mammals in Australia are the dingoes. Almost and the people. Anything Everything. else that's a mammal in Australia is some marsupial. kind of a possum, marsupial. Yeah. 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 And and koalas would be quite quite big. They would compete with the lemurs on the big <laughs> right. <laughs> on the big oh, side. Yeah, These point. guys are so small. So cute. All right. Well, the notorious bee question. I will have to re-look up a source on that one, but what I saw there was 300 billion. Oh, so, oh plus or minus 100, right? Uh, plus or minus 100 billion. <laughs> oh, we got it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so you could, yeah, from two to four, I guess. But um, I, I'm going to be really lax on that because since, since it sounds like it was not my best question. It's not, I don't think it's mathematically possible. There's not enough. Yeah. The bees would have to be like uh, thousands of miles an hour. What have you got there, Wendy? You and a koala? I'm not good at sharing uh, pictures. Um, this is a picture of my daughter's boyfriend when they went to Australia last, uh, this they early this month. Kidnapped a koala? And <laughs> yeah, the, they, the, they, they let the tourists get close to koalas. Oh. Hmm. 
and the and um i asked if they smell like a cough drop and <laughs> they don't mm. <laughs> so don't koalas really spend their whole life in the eucalyptus trees they don't eat they anything down. else they, they get down. and they get and they all smell their... like a eucalyptus cough drop yeah so that would be another <laughs> reason they wouldn't be the <laughs> The answer to number nine, because it wasn't just eucalyptus that pollinates, but m many others. Yeah. Did anybody get number uh, 10? Not everybody got it. That's a good question. Did anybody? You said 500. So no. We didn't. Okay, that looks well, more correct. Yeah. That also Somebody sounds a little pollinates high. about 5,000 flowers per day. All right, that, I that, will. Is, that, is, that also sounds high. So well, five thousand. That is according to stories.state.gov slash honeybee quiz. All right, I'm uh, giving everyone number ten. Woo! Okay. All right. <laughs> Give so. me number ten. I don't want to try to live that one down. <laughs> now are we ready for scores? <laughs> yes. Okay. Let me share my screen. We all got one. <laughs> yes, we did. We all got one. <laughs> okay. Um, Trump sells his new GOP Unified Reich wristwatch. It's a swatch ticker. Six. Okay. Jeez, we object to anything but a guilty verdict. We got eight. Eight. Okay. All right. Nothing happened this week. Certainly on our team. Three. <laughs> All right. Including and, the number uh, 10, huh? Yeah. What including the number 10. Fuck? <laughs> team five. We had 10. Wow. wow. 10. Okay, Martha Ann Alito lacks standing for an appeal to heaven. Yep. Six. Six. Okay. All right, 6.6 6 average. Problems I have is I'm my Good going, Celia. All right, thanks. Yeah, so that, was a, I mean, that was a good question. So was yeah, who's, whose team is whose team is Robin on? Yeah. So, Oh yeah, she's not listed there. No, she's she's not listed purposefully that way. Oh, I need to update the the list of names. Yeah, she's team four. <laughs> team four. Good eye, good eye, Janine. That that's, was fine. that's my my bad. I didn't update the. the teams. And uh, I'm terribly sorry. I have to leave. Okay, okay, good, well, good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Good I night, need to Vincent. go as well. So Thanks. thank you for doing the night, category. Good night, Good night, Carolyn. You're welcome. Hi, Carolyn. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. So I, I have a quick question uh, for, for the people who paste from Word and get the weird numbering. Do you have manually numbered items or do you use Word's auto numbering feature for the list? I use the automatic, the Word system. Yeah, that's that auto cool. that auto numbering you can't transfer. But that's exactly that's what not. I use. It works every that's time. That's what I use me. too. Really? And it yeah. works? I've and it never works. had any problem with it. That's weird. It didn't maybe work. Maybe the version. Either. Maybe the version. Or, or maybe. if you're on a Mac think... or a PC, maybe. Well, that's good. That was gonna be my question. <laughs> Is this be. a Word <laughs> versus uh um Windows <laughs> versus Mac version of Word. Or, or maybe it's your settings that you actually have in Word of your, you know. Yeah, I uh, would think that would pretty be Pretty much it. all my settings are default in Word. I haven't customized anything in it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, it's a curious. newer, is it a newer version? Whoa. Not anymore. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe probably an older I'm one. Saying, like newer than mine. <laughs> well, that's a possibility. Um, oh. Office Wait. 2019 Word. Oh, that's not too old. Hmm. I, th I think it's probably the last version you can actually purchase an actual copy instead of life. Office the 365. Rest. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, round four, <laughs> Jamie, are you ready? 
Yes, the my category quiz today is parasites. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. <laughs> Do we have that, to know the person's first and last name? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not single sites, it's a parasites. Okay. The parasites. Okay, but first... I know who you're thinking of, Karen. <laughs> but first, a joke. What do the Eiffel Tower and hookworms have in common? They're oh both God. parasites. Horny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, number one. See, I don't use Word because of this auto numbering feature. I actually um, do all my questions on Gmail. And I email myself Gmail and it stops all this automatic. Oh, I, I, do, like that. I do that also. I do yeah. That. I do that. It works really well. Yeah. Okay. What's going on here? Okay, number one. Okay. Okay, number one, albendazole in the U.S. is called albenza, is a prescription drug that's used to treat a wide variety of parasitic infections, such as escariasis, capillariasis, cutaneous larva migraines, and others. In Thailand, a full three-day course costs $4.85 without insurance. In the U.S., many insurance programs will not cover this medication. What is the average retail price of this drug in the USA without using insurance or other discounts? And I'm giving a plus or minus 40%. Plus or minus 100 billion. <laughs> <laughs> very, very close to it. Okay, number two. Can I, can I ask if there's a generic for that drug? Um, I don't think in the U.S. I don't think there is. Cause, I mean, that makes a huge US. difference on price. So, yeah, I don't think I don't, I don't okay. think it is. I think there's only one type that's available in okay. America. Okay, thanks. Okay, number two. Recently, a neurologist from New York Presbyterian Hospital found that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. was suffering memory losses and mental frogginess due to a parasitic worm feeding on his brain. Over 2,000 hospitalizations for this condition, known as neurocystochorosis, occurs in the USA annually. It is caused most commonly by the larva of Tiania solium, more commonly known as the what? Okay. Number three. <laughs> Jamie, are those those lines a hint? Two words, one short and one longer? Yes. Okay. Yep. Number three. There are three main categories of parasites that cause infections in humans. Protozoa or single cell parasites that can infect your blood gut, brain, eye, skin, and other organs. Helminth is a general term for parasitic worms. The third type are ectoparasites. What are ectoparasites? Number four. Ugh. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, number four, the world's three most common infectious parasitic diseases caused by protozoans are Giardia, Toxoplasmosis, and what else? <clears throat> number five, A junior U.S. Senator from South Carolina, filleting Donald Trump, 
with hopes to win the VP nomination is who? <laughs> I think that's appropriate. Have you got evidence for that? <laughs> okay, number number six. That might be my favorite question so far. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Parasitism is a relationship between two species in which one of them, the parasite, lives on or inside another organism, the host, causing it harm. Blank is a close relationship between two species in which usually both get benefits from each other. <clears throat> Number seven. When snorkeling off the west coast of Perth, Australia, to swim with the enormous whale sharks, we'd often see dozens of these small fish attached to their underbellies using suction cups on top of their heads. These small fish are known as hog suckers, lamprey, sticklebacks, or remora? A might be the answer for number five. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, number eight. South Korean film Parasite won how many Oscars at the 2020 92nd Academy Awards? So plus or minus on that? <laughs> plus or minus zero. Okay, fair enough. Okay, number nine. <clears throat> Who directed the movie Parasite? And number 10. Number 10, for decades, the Gross Michael variety of banana was the world's most successful produced type. But in 1965, a parasite that causes Panama disease swept over farmlands, making it longer, no longer commercially viable. Today, the blank type of banana resistant to this parasite is the dominant banana type. I do get to ask my husband, right? If oh, someone's yeah. in the room with you, that's fair. Yeah. That's, that's fair game. That's fair game, Celia. I wonder, um, I want to try this. See, I'm going to go ask him right now. I went to the cabin and picked up a bottle of vanilla that two hours made, and it said product, it's a packaged in USA. <laughs> okay. So well, like, it's yeah, packaged here, but it was sent over here. Yeah, I know. So I didn't didn't say what country it was from. Right. Okay, well said. Um, see, I have an my iPad doesn't give me the ability to open up rooms. Okay. No I matter how much. Yeah. Can we'll you do, do that, please? Or set timers. Thank you. There you go. Ah. Okay. Uh oh, it went away. Yeah, yeah, it, it went, went away. away. Nope. It disappeared. There okay. it is. There it is. Thank you, Gail. Okay. I got sent back. Oh, no, I guess I'm in the room. <laughs> All right. So I need to join room four. 
Okay. Hi, guys. The sight and this team right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm just riding along with you guys. <laughs> um, so we're gonna have we have we have Celia. Don't do we have Celia on our team? Or no? She's she's team three. Oh, okay, team three. Okay. This is team four. All right. All right. So number one is going to be a guessing game. Um, a thousand five hundred dollars. Um, so you said fifteen hundred. Yeah, it's just a wild guess. Okay. Anybody, let's see what is number two well so i was going to say raccoon roundworm oh um, yeah but but i think jamie said something along the lines of uh gail said it's the number of spaces there are indicative of the words and he said yes and the first word has four letters and the second word has a bunch more yeah are they exact uh Jamie, or they just kind of put some spaces down. They're there. exact. Okay, so the first word has four letters, yes. so it cannot be raccoon roundworm. Uh, and I meant to look that up this week because I want to know that might explain some things. Oh, oops. What, we, we don't want to. What's going there. on? Why? Why do the breakout rooms? Somebody keep somebody getting somebody messed up. The wrong They'll have to send us back. Anyway, oops, can, we, um, can we cancel that? I doubt it can be canceled. Yeah, uh, Carl already figured them all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You'll have to send us back. That's weird. See, my, my iPad, the Zoom doesn't give me the capability to control these things at all. Hmm. I don't know why. So, um, I don't know what the brain worm is. Uh, so is that what the second word is? Is brain worm? It, it, no, because it, let me tell you how many letters. Something worm. So, so hold on. So um, I don't know why it sent it sent people back yeah. to the main room. Not yeah, sure what happened to the breakout back. rooms. You want me to open yeah. it again? Yeah, let's. Yeah, please open all rooms here. Yeah, that wasn't okay, even enough time for question one. No, something's okay, happening. If, I don't if know what's going on. Something's wrong because it says close all rooms, not open them. And, and I'm getting to stop well, it's, it's up now. So I don't I know what. Get what's rid of happening. my brother. Um, wait a minute. No, what room am I in now? Suddenly, are right, you going to go back to the other room? Four. Okay, so the first word has four letters and the second word has eight letters. And that is the name of this creature. Yes. So let's come back to that one. Okay. There are three main categories. Um, ectoparasites are parasites that are on the outside of a person, I think. Ecto? Ectoplasm? Ectoplasm? It's a go is they're ghost parasites. Uh probably. they parasites on animals too though. Like, you know. They're, they're, there are three main categories, that. protozoa, helminth, and ectoparasites. I think these are like is it I think outside? ectoparasites uh -huh. are on the outside of you like ticks. Oh, okay. That works for me. Number four is syphilis. Okay, how do you spell syphilis? Doesn't syphilis. matter. S Y P H I L L U S. I like it. Uh, number five. I do. I do not know the name of that person. I don't either. Uh, off the top of my head. Um, I'm. I don't have the time to follow this crap at the moment 
Um, well, if the spaces are correct again, it's only three for the first name. Did you see anyone walking around? Jim. Jim, Joe. I do not know. I don't know. Okay. Okay, number six, I think is commensalism. What? C wow. C-O-M-M-E-N-S-A-L-I-S-M. -M -M -E Nine letters. Okay, can you spell that again? I'm sorry. C-O-M-M. C-O-M-M-E-N-S-A-L-I-S-M. -M -M. That's 12 letters. What's going on over there, Alan? There's a Robin's He's, TV that I'm hearing. <laughs> probably my TV. In the yeah, background, Alan's muted. Think, Never mind. Alan is enjoying hockey. His team is yes. winning. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> he looks happy. That's all the that matter. Okay. Um, so, um, See, these small fish are known as suction cups both, on top of their heads. I think both lampreys and remoras and maybe hog suckers, you know, it's, it's like, what, what do they call them in Perth? Oh, right. Um, it's not stickleback for sure, but I think we could say remora or lamprey, I would think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I like hog sucker, but I don't have a, no idea if it's correct. And, it's like, but that, it's Australia. Would they call like it something somebody, funny? Yeah, it's Australia. So hog, if you want to call it hog sucker, go but for I, it. But I have no idea. If you like, if you think it's B or D, then that's fine too, because I mine's not based on any anything. It's just... Well, I think it would be either Lamprey or Remora. I would go with Remora. Okay, let's do it. Uh, okay, how many Oscars? I haven't even seen Parasite, so I don't. Oh, I oh know. gosh, you should! I saw it. I loved it. I don't know who the director is, but um, I think it may be like seven. Okay, seven's a good number. Or, or well, no, seven would be huge four. sweep. Um, let's go with four. I mean, there's movies that have won like eleven and thirteen, so. Yeah. Seven is not, it's a large number, but it's not a huge number. But I, I, I'm i fine with whatever. I think four. Okie dokie, four. All right. Who directed? It. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Even if the, the name was said, if I'd remember it five minutes later. Exactly, because it's a Korean I'd probably name. Forget. Yeah. 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 Well, that and someone can tell me their name and at a party and I'll forget it five minutes later. Me too. I'm really bad with names. Me too. Okay, for decades. I have no idea what the banana is. I've I've read it. I've you know, I'm aware of this. I've read about it, but I don't remember the name. Chiquita. <laughs> I was thinking at the time it could be the Ecuadorian, but I think okay. there's not a, that's too many letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, if seven. That's how you spell Ecuadorian. E C U A D O R I A N. Okay, Ecuadorian. Sure. But I don't I don't think that's actually the right answer. I think it's something like Gross Michael, you know, something that doesn't mean anything else. That's 10 letters. But then again, these two have the exact same amount of letters. I don't know what the chances are of those being exactly the same or if he's not necessarily always making the amount of spaces equivalent to how long the word is. So. Oh, boy. I'm going to go to bed. Me too. Okay, well, go back up to the top. We put 1500. All right, I, I apologize. I've been like zero help for the whole night. 
and it's <laughs> not just not just because of the hockey. Only you're present. not you're not allowed to watch hockey anymore and play trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what okay. I'm worried about, I, 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 you know, I, I record these things because they're, you know, because I'm doing, and and the, the problem is, I, I, I haven't had it yet. It hasn't happened yet, but what happens is if it goes into overtime, oh uh, yeah, and you get towards the end of overtime, and it goes off, and I, and I don't find out. And I, oh, we I have the same problem with recording baseball games. What are you same using it to says, record it TV? Says it's you you when I put it when I you know I don't know what you have I have like Comcast or Xfinity oh. and it says uh, until until as much as necessary but it, it, you yeah. know so so I'm I'm sure hoping that this intermission because it's a it's like going into a second overtime or, or something like that or third overtime I don't know but uh, yeah Okay, so the f number two, he said it was. That's a four letter word. I mean, seven. So he said it's like a. That's it. The only worm I know of the. Feeds on the brain is the raccoon roundworm, and I think that's wrong because of the number of letters there. But I don't know any other one. Yeah, well, it's better than a blank. Um, Reckon is two C's and two O's, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. And we think three is uh, something on the outside of the body. We got an answer for four, syphilis. We don't know our junior senator. Yeah, no idea. And don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm not paying attention because whatever Donald Trump does, I don't give a shit. So hmm. exactly. You're muted, Alan, if you're talking to us. So I think we've got our losing set of answers completed. <laughs> Do we want to come up with, I don't even know, Joe something? Can we just put Joe and have that be the correct answer? I don't think it's Joe because there's Joe Biden. I don't think he would, I don't think he would pick a Joe. I think he would, and I don't think Republicans wouldn't call themselves Joe. I think it's got to be a Jim. All right. Jim. I like it. Deductive reasoning. <laughs> uh, Jim. Uh, something. That's all I'm going to know. Okay, Jim. Neighbors, no. <laughs> uh, that occurred to me. <laughs> uh, and we don't, we don't have any idea on the director of Parasite. Um, I've, I've seen Parasite. I've I've read about it. I've read that director's name many times, and it's not something that I just retain. Right. So uh, we might that might be all we can get. I think unless we can come up with a last name that we think it is. Um. 
I don't know. Um, I think we, we could put Jung, J-U-N-G, as the last name and just hope it's right. Okay. There we go. I was wondering when uh, breakout rooms were going to close. Unless he needed me to do it. I guess I should have asked him. Okay, let's look at. Actually, you know, change the the director. I think his last name might be Ho H O. For what? The director of Parasite. I think his last name might be Ho. Oh. H O. I was I was thinking you were talking about five. For Jim, so and so, because all we have is Jim. Uh -uh. <laughs> Jim Ho, Jim Da Ho. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna take just. Hey, is everybody back? Uh, Boy, that was probably. tough. That was tough. I think so. Yeah, that was tough. Are we ready for Did some you answers? You watching the game? Okay, here we go. Number one. Yeah. Did you I'll see the whole the game? Yeah. Afterwards. Okay, so after, I'll post it afterwards. So number one, um, albendazole, which only costs about four and a half dollars here in Thailand. In America, it costs eight hundred sixty-four dollars for the same thing. So it's five hundred eighteen dollars to twelve hundred and nine dollars. Five hundred eighteen. Oh, so close. Okay. Um, Jamie, you want to go into business with me and just ship me a whole bunch, and I'll give you a lot of profit. <laughs> what, what was that answer range? 518 to 1209. Oh, just missed it. Just missed it. How, How many, many pills? pills? How, many How, many pills? How many pills is that? Three. It's a th it's three. One, one, pill, one pill for three days. That's it. But here in Thailand, medications for the exact same thing is about a tenth the cost in the U.S. Like, yeah, that's I just what saw we it. guessed about a tenth the cost, and that's a lot more than a tenth. Yeah, well, for example, I take uh, Ventolin, name brand Ventolin. Here is about three and a half dollars. In the U.S., without insurance, the name brand Ventolin is like sixty-nine dollars for the same thing. So, I'm glad I'm here. Okay, well, number now it's two, thirty-five dollars. Oh, with insurance? No, oh, it's in national national uh, uh, limit. No, jeez, but here's three and a half. Number oh, two, three and a half. For, Medi for Medicare, anyway. Oh, yes, yes, that's three insurance. And a half <laughs> yeah, it certainly is. <laughs> and here, you don't need Best any prescriptions. We got. Okay. You need no prescriptions here. You just go into the pharmacy, get whatever you want, but no prescriptions. Mm -hmm. It's kind of nice. Number two, um, the neurologist discovered what Robert F. Kennedy has, and what he had was the pork tapeworm. Oh, it was a tapeworm. Yep. What if we wrote pork worm? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so, wait, did, fine. You, did you put these in the the chat? And I'm. I just... will afterwards. I'll I'll put all the. Oh, okay. I'm chat. just wondering if it was just me. It wasn't getting it. Okay. <clears throat> no, afterwards. So the pork table in number number two, number three, the um, an ectoparasite, an ectoparasite, right? Insects or spider-like bugs that bury into your skin, uh! and they stay there for a long period of time. So like ticks, mites, lice, fleas. Hey, they go into your skin. That's what oh. that is. Oh, right, so we got that, Karen. She said mites. Oh my uh, gosh, yeah. I'm itching. I was scratching the whole time <laughs> through this category. Well, they got that name because you look at them and say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. Oh, but who hasn't who hasn't had had lice when they were a kid? I never had lice. I never, I, I, I never I, had I, head I, lice. I never had lice. I never had head <laughs> lice. Every kid <laughs> kindergarten had. Um, I was going to say every public school it goes through all the time, all the time. Every I never had it, but my week. kids did. 
Oh my god, I had it probably a million times. Really? I don't think I ever got it. Not a million, nope. but like 10 maybe? I mean, a 500 I had billion it. times. I had it multiple. <laughs> <laughs> no, I probably <laughs> have had lice no quite seriously at least 5 times. Wow. Really? Yeah. I had it once as Many. a kid. Me and my brothers both got it from a a person who came from another city and stayed with us for the summer. I mean, you, they went through the schools all the time, yes. and I had and I had siblings, so it was like one got it, we all got it. We'd have shaved heads. I remember at Sherwood School, like you mm -hmm. know, kids would come with their yes. head shaved. I managed yeah. not to get it. I even had a sibling living in the same house, six hundred fifty square foot house, and we shared one bathroom, and I and I didn't get the lice. I don't know how. I don't know how. Gross, disgusting. Ugh. Okay, number four. Yes, please. Most number four. <laughs> no more lice. We're going to go on to something like way more, you know, appetizing. Yeah, rice now. The most common infectious parasitic disease, Giardia toxoplasmosis, and the most common is malaria. Yes. Malaria. Oh. Not that. <laughs> malaria. Oh, that was we a good one. Syphilis. Came up with that. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think that's not a parasitic disease. It's uh, it's yes, it is. depends on who your partner is. <laughs> it's a uh, it's a protozoan. Yeah, it says in the question, protozoan. Yeah, it's a protozoan disease. Number five, the U.S. senator who's sucking up Trump is Tim Scott. The guy is disgusting. He's just gross. Number six, oh, almost as disgusting. disgusting as Trump. Yeah, it's all pathetic. <laughs> Number six. Um, the answer to number six is symbiosis. Symbiosis oh, is when two species benefit each other or symbiotic relationships. You're having a symbiotic relationship. Yep. I said yep. commensalism, and I think that might be a, a the might same be, thing. Yeah. Commensalism yeah, the same. Is, is, yeah. is a relationship where neither of them bothers the other. Neither of them helps, and neither of them bothers. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, oh, symbiotic right. implies okay. that they help each other. They both help, okay. help each other. All right. Okay. Number seven, when, when we're um, diving off the coast of, of Australia, we saw all these little fish attached to the bottom of the whale sharks. And the answer is seven is D, remora. I yeah. made a guess there. We got one right. We got a point. Right. Ron got it right because it's in a... Good song. It's, it's in a Jimmy Buffett, Buffett song. song. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Number but eight. He was talking movie. about the other kind of ones, the lawyer sharks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number eight, the, the movie Parasite. Um, yeah. Parasite four Academy Awards. Oh. Yeah. You did say plus or minus one, right? Good change, <laughs> yeah. Robin. Sorry. It's <laughs> better one best picture, best director, best original screenplay. And the best international feature film. It's actually a good movie. Yeah. I loved it. It's on Max. I'm going to watch it. It's, it's yeah. very good. Uh, number nine, who directed the movie Parasite? His name was Bang Joon Ho. Bang so you will not accept some Korean guy. <laughs> what, what, what if we just the have? We what if we just have? Yeah, Ho. we had Bang Ho. Is that good enough? Some, we knew Ho. We knew Ho, but not, not <laughs> anything else. Ho. Oh, hey. was fine. Oh, 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 Cabana banana. I couldn't write cabana. Something like yeah. The Copa. Copa we said banana. we said Chiquita banana in our <laughs> <laughs> Yes, we have no bananas. It is not well, a close not a banana. banana. Close but no nanners. <laughs> oh man. Well, there there are did you didn't get how many actual breeds of bananas there are because I'm, I'm betting it's about like 20 or something there's a lot there's, well, there's a lot of good ones, ones. yeah uh, mm. we, we have bananas mm. here we got actually a tree that started producing fruit just a couple but days what ago. kind do you have um i don't know i don't know i, I actually what are they called? Han, h-o-n 
H O M. Are they are they little or big or and are they yellow when they're ripe and? Depends how much we fertilize. There, there's like a cabin. There's, there's, there's a small variety. Cabin. There's a variety um, that's about the size of a finger, and they yeah, when they're so ripe, they're like, red, and they're delicious. I like those. The small ones. Yeah. Small ones are really, really delicious. They're really good. They are. Well, the most common in, in Thailand, very what's very common is they're about the size of your thumb, and they're very fat, mm -hmm. short and fat. And uh -huh. I don't, we don't like them. They're sweet, but they um they're hard. You know, they're not as soft as like the cabbage dish. But huh. I love them. You cook with them, and very common. But they're still better than durian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get some scores. Well done, Jamie. Well done. Good job, Jamie. <sighs> All right. Um, well, nothing one. happened this week. Seven. Wow. Okay. Jeez, we object to anything but a guilty verdict. It's down to Cindy and me, and we got six. Nice. Hey. Good, for, good for you. All right. Trump sells his new GOP Unified Reich wristwatch. It's a swatch ticker. Hi. Kitty, kitty. Are we going to see a kitty there, bro? Which was, I think we he's, got he's coming three, over. Robin. Wow. That's what I have. You got three? <laughs> yeah. Whatever you say three. it is, is what it All is. Right. <laughs> okay. I was not um, keeping score. Okay. Martha and Alito lack standing for an appeal to heaven. Uh, I got eight. Mm. Oh. Okay. What is that the fuck? appeal to heaven? We got nine. Nice. Wow. Right. wow. Oh, 6.6 6 average again. Two rounds in oh, a no. row. Look at that. Kill their own team. I think it's yeah. a runaway. And it's yes. 6.4 before that. These are some tough wow. ones. Got some tough rounds tonight, folks. All right. Dale, well, are you I ready for the to bonus? keep that tradition going. Oh, boy. We're going to have a so challenging we're evening. we end tonight with another tough round. Uh -oh. Are you ready? Fire. Ready as we'll ever be. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So are you going to uh yeah. 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 The bonus round. Okay. Let me explain it and then I'll give it to you. Last week was the Kennel the American Kennel Club's best in, uh, Westminster Kennel Club show, which is the uh that is generally known in the dog world as the Super Bowl of the dog world every year. In, uh, American, that is. In the, yes, of course. Like the Super Bowl, the American, right? Um, and I watched it, as I always do. And one of the things I noticed was so many breeds. I, I was actually an AKC judge in the 1990s. I'm still licensed, but I don't do it anymore. And I was amazed at how many new breeds there were that I had not heard of before, or I'd heard of, but I'd only judge them at rare breed shows, not at AKC shows. So here's 10 made, made up names for dog breeds and <laughs> 10 real newer recognized dog breeds. Okay. And then your go job is going to be to identify of the 20 breed names I give you, which 10 are real dog breeds and which 10 I got by asking a, a, um, AI to give me some phony dog names. And I did <laughs> tweak some of them because they were just too easy, but <laughs> I did tweak them. But 10 of them were are basically tweaked AI and the other 10 are the real thing. So they're probably breeds you don't Delicious. know because um, they're strange. Uh, I didn't know some of them. So I will give you the whole list, and you have a 50-50 chance of getting it right, because there are 20 breeds on the list, and all you have to do is pick out the 10 that are real. But realizing how really difficult this is going to be, I decided to add a bonus. If you watch the Westminster Kennel Club show, and you can name either the winner of Best in Show, or the winner of Reserve Best in Show by breed. You don't need the name of the dog, just the name of the breed. If you can identify the breed of either the winner or the reserve winner, 
you can get a point for that as a bonus. Hey, get one point. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is put in the list, and I've got them labeled by letter for no particular reason, except that when I give you the answers, I'll do them in this order. Does that make <laughs> sense? Yeah. In other mm -hmm. words, the, and the letters don't make any any difference. They're just putting them in an order, and I'm going to be giving you the answers in this order. I'm going to be picking out of this order. So there's the first half, and here's the second half. So you should be able to get at least five. Any questions? So no. there are 10 real, 10 fake. 10 real, 10 AI tweaked. Oh, brother. Okay, you okay. ready? Go for it. Okay. And Jamie, you're working with us today, huh? Yeah, we need to Oops. move Jamie. Okay, I'll go. Oops. You, if you need me to move you, I can. Yeah, yeah Jeff, I gotta you're be in moved. the wrong room. You need to be in room four, not five. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, I can move you, Jamie. Okay, thanks. All right. Okie dokie. Susan Gerben. That's me. All right, you need me to share. I can share if you need me to. If you want, you can share. I just have the chat pulled up. Um, and then we can like put stars or some sort of identifying. I don't like that when I share my screen, it minimizes the video to so tiny. I don't want the video to be tiny. Okay. <laughs> I want to see all your smiling faces. You can adjust uh, your view. Well, normally it it's fine when I do multiple monitors, but when I host for Susan, I need to not do that so that it always shows the view of everyone's cameras. Gotcha. Yep. Or, okay. Or not, as the case may be with me today. Hmm. Yeah, but it was good because I could not have kept a poker face during that hockey game. Huh. Say what? I couldn't keep a poker face because Alan didn't want any spoilers. It went to double overtime. <laughs> huh. And none of you heard me cursing. I hope. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure the one that won was some kind of poodle. It was but a miniature. That was a miniature poodle. I remember like hearing that on the news one morning. Um, I, I think Alpine Terrier is a real thing. Oh. It is, because that just sounds like we're sticking two different words together. But I could be wrong. So did you guys say one already? Sorry, I was... Uh, the bonus, other the the bonus question. Oh yes, and the answer to that was a miniature poodle. Oh, miniature poodle. That's right. Okay, the beaver terrier C is real. C is real. C okay, you're going to put stars after things that are real. Okay. She did a good job because a lot of these sound real. Yeah. Like, like Russian, Russian toy sounds made up, but that could very well be real. And it's just one of those breeds that sounds made up. But it's a Russian toy what? Um, S looks real just because it's garbage. What's an Aswak? I don't know. 
Oh, uh, rush Russian toy. There's a Ruski toy, which you know sounds, which is Russian. So mm -hmm. I'll go with uh, go with that for real. Okay. Okay, and Lancashire heal healer. Yeah, I think that Lancashire one. healer is right. Okay. We've got three. Hintle Boucher Mountain Dog. Never heard of it. German Ember Hund. Sounds like it. Could I think I think the Enflabusher is is real. The J. J. Yeah. Okay. So those four we got so far. Let's see, frost made Japanese. I could see moonlit beagle being like a coloring of beagle, but is it a whole separate breed? That's yeah. I don't think it would be a whole breed. Puff Doodle just sounds like. Uh... Puff Daddy's uh, dog, what he named it. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why dog breeds like at all. Right? I like A and K, but it's just a gut feeling. That's it. Can't back it up. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll find Terry. Yeah, I'll put that in. Yeah, I like that one too. The more I looked at it, the more I go, sure, why not? What do you think about German Ember Hund? I like I it. I don't think so. Um, Ember Hund. Ember Hund. Uh, Maybe. It could also be completely made up. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. So many of these, they all sound made up to me, <laughs> you know? Well, like M sounds like a flower, not a dog. Yeah, I agree. I was just looking at that one. A giant golden striped bulldog does not sound like a breed of bulldog. It, again, sounds like coloring. He's not Brindle. He's a giant golden stripe. Like, no, you can't just. Anyway. I like Azawak. As. Right? Yep. Cause, yeah, because it's such a crazy made up word. Like, why would it. Exactly. You so would think that AI have? is going to do stuff. We six. have six, I think, and then the bonus. One, two, two three, four. four. Yeah. yeah, we have six. Either of you speak Italian? What would Bracco Italiano be? I don't know, but I like Barbet tea. Okay. Because for me, if you're using like AI, it could totally just slap something together like Australian Shadow Hound, right? Yeah. It's just putting right? words together. So let Beagle. Like that sounds AI to me. Yeah. We have one, two, three, four. We got seven. We need to pick three more. And then hopefully the bonus will, you know, aid us for the 
multiple ones we chose poorly on. <laughs> oh, this is hard. What? She warned us it was going to be hard. Yeah. What about B? Because again, it's such a muddy, oddly spelled word. Yeah, we can go with muddy. I don't know what the hell it would be, but. Me either. How close are you to Dan? Mm. We got a few more to go. We got a few more to pick, yeah. Okay. Unless you sneeze and give us some answers. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to go with B or? Uh, yeah, yeah let's B. go with B. Uh, that's. Okay, so that's we'll eight. Poker we need to pick two on. more. Blue Ridge Armenian Spaniel. Mm, yeah, that's a lot of words to to throw together for a dog. So maybe it was constructed by a, I don't know. Well, like I know of Ridgebacks and Blue Healers. I think it's probably AI. I don't know. N sounds like gum to me. Golden stripe. Right. It's just. How about Bracco Italiano? Yeah, we want to go Bracco Italiano. Sure. Dappled Retriever just sounds like it's ready to go to a ball. We got nine. We need to pick one more, and then we got our bonus down there. Do we like the Belgian Lac Noir? Yeah, what is that? Like, <laughs> I have I... no idea what that word is. Yeah, me either. Cross main Japanese toy. There's I don't know, dappled retriever just sounds like a they stuck a word in front of retriever. But... Yeah. yeah. But you never know. Maybe there is such a thing as a dappled retriever. It could be. I mean, there's golden retrievers. What do you think, Bill? Pick one. We have minutes. Australian shadow. Oh, so many of these are just could have been constructed. Um. Forty seconds. Blue Ridge Armenian Spaniels at two. No. Too many. Um, German Ember Hund maybe. Um, I'll go with Belgian dude. Sixteen seconds, Bill. What's your Wait, guess? Which one? I like the Belgian one. I don't even know where that one is right now. Sorry. You're on it right now. It's oh, over. this one. Thank you. <laughs> we can, since we don't know what that word means. Okay. Are you ready for answers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. That's uh, <laughs> that we got to figure hard. out hey, which of these right? ones are crazy made up. The, it was, they all sound. Yeah, I'm going to share. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And some of these breeds actually are ancient breeds. Some of them are new breeds. You had they some ancient breeds were not had not satisfied the AKC rules to get recognized until recently. So mm -hmm. some of them are ancient breeds. 
Most of them are new, though. But they have all satisfied all the rules and were at this show, if you watched it. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yep. They're in order. If you kept your list in order or you have the letters, it'll be easier. <coughs> the only reason the letters are there is I'm just going to show you the ones that are real. I'm not going to okay. show you the ones that are, are not real. Do we get a point for guessing the theme? <laughs> <laughs> okay. First one is B, the Moody. Oh, no. And by the way, anybody who wants this, all of the words on here, I, I put it on because I was just copying off the AKC website. So if you'd like a copy of my PowerPoint, I'd be happy to give it to you. And you can yeah. find out about the breed if you're interested. And those are pictures of the dogs that are real. Yeah. That is the Moody. One of the yeah. two very beautiful. Now that's a Peppa dog. Beautiful. <laughs> very not nice. Very it's cool. a brand new breed. Yeah. Number C. Number, next one is the, is the, the Brewer Terrier is real. Um, they, they're cute that was one of our first choices everything with terry it's good <laughs> yeah. that's it's amazing how that hair looks just like a bow growing on its head yeah. <laughs> and that, blue, that blue hair is amazing oh, God. next one was number f oh we thought Otto that was fake italiano is real we thought that was fake that's such phony baloney italian it was a good year too. Lorraine <laughs> Brock, real soprano, real dog, fake, fake, fake name. Fake, name. Fake, yeah, that's not fair. <laughs> the next one was number H, the Russian toy. Yeah. Wow. And I have the two pictures because I have the two coat styles. Nice. Um, Did they just go steal history, some shit? But with a different name. Uh, they just stole some chihuahuas. It looks like. And the Russians yeah, changed the like name wow. to Russian terrier. Mm. You don't look like a chihuahua, no. The next one <laughs> is the Lancashire Healer. I heard well, that. I thought that they was wouldn't fake. call it that. Healing is mm. a hurting a technique. So uh, there are several different kinds of healers. I thought they would yeah. never call a dog a healer. There are a couple mm. of kinds of healers, actually. Yeah. It I means somebody, a dog that goes after and nips at the, at the sheep's heels, you see, to get them to go where they want them and to go. The ever popular faith healer. <laughs> we can only teach them to eat sand fleas. Yeah. Oh, well, there, that would be then good. you'd have something. But then we wouldn't have all the chocolate. <laughs> oh, well, maybe Dogs are allergic to chocolate, so it's symbiotic. Yeah. <laughs> it's a dog. No. Uh, a rugged, like determined mover of cattle. Oh, my mm. gosh. That's a good-looking dog. That's a good looking dog. It doesn't Gale. look like a. Where did that name come Gale. from? Oh my God, in Antlerbucher. It's definitely German. We lost it's Gale. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jeez, no yeah. more answers for us. We still have her screen share. Her screen is out. We all won. <laughs> <laughs> you see, okay? Yeah, I still show her in. No, oh. we need her. It, it is real. Uh, we said it was real. <laughs> oh, or Carl really said it was real. Orchid. Mm. Huh. I guess this. I guess this one is real, didn't I? Yeah, I think you did, but we thought yeah. it was little. But that doesn't count. It doesn't matter. I, I wonder if Gail knows we can't hear her. You should just. I did. I thought it was going to be like a little, little. I think we said it was real. Toy, but, toy mm -hmm. dog, but I, that doesn't matter. I said it was real. No, I, I right. could hear you. I didn't realize you couldn't hear me. You can hear me now. Yep, yes. we can hear yes. you now. I, I, That's a cool looking dog. I explained to Cat. I just plugged it and plugged my my thing. It's like somebody's okay. The paint Peruvian Inca orchid is a real breed. It's a mm. hairless South American state hound. Mm. Nice. Okay, the next one is the Belgian Lacanoir. Yes. Wow. Join oh, the other three that. Belgian breeds. The Malinois, the one that's best known, probably. Oh, yeah. That's a cute one. Good guess, Ron. Mm. And the next one, the Asquat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what on earth is it wearing? Oh, my God. The side hound. Trying to make him into a giraffe. It's, yeah, it's an Afghan. 
And the final one is the Barbette. Barbette. I hate both of them. The Barbette is also a real breed. And you can see it looks so tiny there. I put the picture in with the person. It's not wow. a small, small dog. It's a medium-sized dog. Mm -hmm. And I think many of you had gotten the news. The Westminster show this year was won yep. by a miniature poodle. And the reserve best in show was a German Shepherd dog. Mm -hmm. uh, either of those answers will give you the bonus point. How many years can you put away the, uh, the owner of that dog? For that haircut. Yes. <laughs> It uh -huh. has, well, it won best of show, so great. Put them all away. Yeah. Well, the poodles Animal are required abuse. to be shown in one of two cuts. They have to be shown that way. Animal abuse. Yeah. The, the poodle cut comes from its use as a hunting dog in puddles, uh, or or uh, ponds. Yeah, uh, they 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 claim that the. The, the things around the knees keep them the warm in the water. I have no idea. But they can be shown with a short clip when they're puppies. But once they're an adult, they have two clips they can be shown in. But this is by far the most popular one. But nobody keeps them in that clip when they're not showing them because it's just too blessed and much work. So that's it. Of course, and of course, you know, when it's been raising raining cats and dogs because you always have to look out for stepping in poodles. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gail, do you have the correct ones to post in um, the chat? Or do you just have the PowerPoint? I just have the PowerPoint because that's all I've usually had. If okay. It's there and it's on, on the thing, right? Want to share like, the PowerPoint? Yeah, you well, can upload the PowerPoint if you want to the chat. Sure. What's your dog's name, Wendy? Thank well, the you, PowerPoint Gail. go in the chat. It won't go in the chat. Yeah. Chance? Jackie Chan. He's Jackie a Chan. Chinese, which is a Chinese yeah, dog. Carl, Carl attaches PowerPoints and, and you, you have to click the name. little document that, the icon. The, at the, the little file folder file. icon down at the bottom of the chat. To the file. Is he a Shih Tzu? And when there's do you a see a shih tzu? Is your dog a shih tzu? Shih tzu. Yeah. It's five and a half. Okay, Carl, what do My I do? My little petunia is part shih tzu. I call her a shit poo because she's part shih tzu and part poodle. <laughs> really? The, the, um, he's 100% shih tzu according to his DNA test. And he was a gift. And when he was a baby, I got him. He was only five and a half weeks old, and I kept him alive. And um, he looked a lot like a guinea pig. Okay, I didn't you know the whole thing goes into this. the chat. The whole thing is in the chat now. He's so he's such a good bub. They won best of show last year, Shih Tzu. Oh yeah! Oh really? Yeah, the right. Shih Tzus <laughs> when they when they are um, groomed for a show, they they grow out their fur um, really long. And then they have the little top knot like some of the uh, yeah. gals, uh pictures did. And the um, but I couldn't I couldn't do that. I have his his fur. Yeah, know, I I have to clip um, Petunia all the time. Gail, she looks did it much go cuter to cuter when she's yeah, it's in the chat. Shh, but did it go yeah. to everyone or just to Carl? It went into the chat. Yeah, I don't see the document did in there. Either. Yeah. Did you you have to click the send arrow on the right side at the bottom of the chat after you put it oh, in. Oh, okay. There it goes. Oh, might... I kept making that mistake. Quit. There Thank it is. You. Yeah, there it is. Thank good you, job. Gail. That was good. Perfect. It was fun. We got yeah. to talk about dogs. <laughs> yeah, that was a... Bananas, dogs, parasites. Oh, oh my. Uh, yeah, quite a wide variety, variety of categories all kinds tonight. Of insects yes. and reptiles and marsupials and oh my gosh! But no toilets. Scores. Like, but no toilets. All right, <laughs> let me pull bananas. up the document. Well, Janine and brought toilets for a little while. Oh, what with the parasites that make oh, you go geez. to the toilet? <laughs> Alan, did you finish watching the game? Yes, I did. You still, okay, you still don't have one person, one round filled for trivia next week, right? 
Cat. That I was is correct. I was. Sh- Thank I was you, sh- I, w- I was going to volunteer, but then I, I I might be awful busy with Susan in town. I don't know if I actually right. have time to write a trivia. Why don't no, we fill fine. that as that? We'll hold that as the carrot before we do the scores, uh, Ben. Yes. So I need someone hey, to volunteer. Ben, are you using a larger font for this picture, or is it just my screen? Like, uh, mm, for the- maybe. It just seems big. I, I don't know how to make it smaller. I thought it was, uh, I, let's just look at the whole screen. There's a bigger. there's a, a vertical line that goes between the row of pictures and the frame. You could click on that and, and, and smoosh it over. Is there anyone that would like to do a category next week? Well, I just did one this week, but if nobody else wants to, I'm willing to. I'm always can, willing to. We cannot get enough Gail. Yes. <laughs> More Gail. Okay. Well, and Gail did do a bonus this yeah, week, bonus, so if she does a regular bonus. round, then regular. that's that's fine. Okay, thank I'll you, Gail. Yay. All right, we'll slot you in. Okay, nice. let's get some well scores. Done. Scores. All right. Um, let's see. Trump sells his new GOP unified Reich wristwatch. It's a swatch ticker. We had eight. Eight. Look at that. The name has Jamie written all over it. Uh, yeah, it moving, does. Moving in. Okay. Nothing happened this week. Nine. Nine. Oh, wow. We got the bonus, too. Yep. Jeez, we object to anything but a guilty verdict. We got six. Six. Woo-hoo! Okay. Oh. Uh, Martha and Alito lack standing for an appeal to heaven. Seven. Seven. Okay. And what the right. puck? Zero. We had <laughs> ten. Oh Jeez. my gosh, look at that. We Thank got nine, but then we got, but then we got the well bonus. You do. <laughs> I totally so, forgot to even work on the bonus. Yep. The bonus saved us because we got one of the choices wrong, but then the bonus brought us back to ten. All right. Wow. So, hey, catcher, uh, catcher, our winner twice tonight. Mm-hmm. Two tiaras. <laughs> Let me put Gail in for next week, and let's see. I wasn't sure who you were cheering for, Alan. Oh, uh, oh, uh, I, I, yeah, I got to I got to cheer for Edmonton. <laughs> who, who wants to be round one? Gail, do you prefer to be a later round? Uh, and I have no particular preference. Early. I, I wouldn't mind going early. Only because okay. a lot of people miss out on my category when I go fourth. You know, I, if no one else <laughs> the cares, second spot is the best spot because you get the if late. If no covers, one else cares, I like to go early so I can drink a glass of wine <laughs> when I'm done. Well, put Karen All first. Right. I second. am taking uh, tips that you know may or may not increase your <laughs> you uh, <laughs> round number. <laughs> uh, good night, guys. I'm 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 going. Good night, good night, good night, good night, good night, night Alan. Alan. Thanks, I'm heading out Thank too. You. I'm heading out. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Ben and Carl. And yeah, oh, thank you for your assistance, Karen. Uh, thank Much appreciated. You, ben. Yeah, good job. Are you running the thank game next week, Ben? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye.